Bill Burr in studio. What's Bill up, Bill Burr? Nice. What's going on? Are these guys alive? I was going to say, you guys got a packed house out there. Well, it's the last week, Bill, and then we move to the big building eight blocks away. We uh, get to lose this fine facility and, yeah. and do our show mean? from Real a, excited. And then we get to do our show from a studio that's maybe a third of the size. <clears throat> so what has happened to this country? They're, they're downsizing. They're downsizing. Everything's Everything. Everything. Downsize. Yeah. 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 This building, apparently, the rent is too high, and yeah. we're the only ones here. So, well, us and Ron and Fez, so... Uh, they thought, hey, it's cheaper if you guys come over there and we don't pay rent on this building anymore. But So then we got to go over there, but they didn't have any studio room for us, really. Uh, the best part is they're like, <laughs> oh when, when the bosses say it's going to be great a hundred times, you know it's not going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Oh, they're yeah. looking down at the great. floor, it's gonna rubbing be great. the back of their great. head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's going to yeah, be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be good for you guys. Good. Gonna good, be, good. Uh, good for the show. Great, 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 You know, great, it's just going to be great to have you in the uh, in the building. Say great a lot. because Guests are going to be just walking through the hallways. You could grab the guests from other shows and interact with them. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to be 20 fucking <laughs> s stairs from the boss through the uh, glass uh, studio window. With the, uh, and then meetings after the show every day. How many of the come hithers are we going to get mm -hmm. after a bit? Yeah. Come hither. Come uh, here. Come here. No, you can't do that. Mm. Or when there's like some spontaneous shit going on in the studio. Yeah. Uh, they're going to all run over to make sure it stops before there's a problem. Meanwhile, people love hearing problems. <laughs> That's like part of the show. The part of the show is the fucking problem, you know. They, and they're gonna be like, "What's what's the problem? The problem is you came to fix the problem." Right. Shut up. The new guys don't <laughs> fixing the bit. The yeah, new guys don't, don't the bit. The new guys don't understand. Yeah, problems make really good radio. Yeah. Don't worry really about them so much. That's right. Bill, you're playing uh, what? The uh, Trump Marina? Bill. Yeah. Trump Marina, uh, Saturday. Me and uh, young Joe DeRosa. Ah. Joey's coming in Thursday. Good deal. Yeah, we're Good starting deal. to let him come in without you, though. I know he's he's been cheating on me. He's a actually been uh, pretty good. He's oh, been yeah. very good. I was, yeah, I was actually good. I was actually joking with him on the phone. Yeah. We we're doing a podcast. I go, what if you really started doing well on uh, Opie and Anthony, and I just started getting all weird around you? <laughs> <laughs> like I never addressed it, and I was just uh, you'd be like, hey Bill, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, good. yeah good. Hey, yeah. How, how's Joe? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine we just ask <laughs> Joe, a lot of Joe questions when you're in here. Joe calls you up. I'm tired. Why did you have to get and do fucking radio this morning? Yeah, what <laughs> time did you get well, up this yeah, morning? Yeah, actually, I did. Oh, that's great. That's great. He's not upset. About no no yeah. no problem no problem you just yeah listen that Trump it. Marina gig something happened I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna, oh, gonna have somebody oh, else oh, come oh, in and open yeah they booked the opener I couldn't yeah, you know, yeah. mixed, you know. Yeah. well you live, you live in L A you move back to the East Coast what are you doing come back here and have oh fun. my God dude you think come it's home. you think it's come bad home. here come home you think it's bad here yeah. Dude, I drove from my place to the the five, the highway out there. Yeah. As they call them, the five, the yeah. five, the, I know, the five and the four or five. Yeah. Drove over there on a yes. Sunday, literally, dude. Like I maybe a five minute drive if there wasn't so much fucking traffic. And I go over there, and there was like fourteen open houses. Oh wow, really? What are they yeah. selling? You mean for selling the house? That's people trying yeah, to dump. Dude, their not only are they dealing with this economy, dude, the economy. There was a writer strike, the director strike, potentially an actor strike, <laughs> and all those. You know, back in the day, they just had movie moguls who were making this picture. See? Yeah, yeah. That's all they did. But now they're all tied in to all this other bullshit, so they don't have any money to make movies and stuff. So right. thank God I'm a comedian. I can tell you. I can, <laughs> there's deals to be had, people. You want to rent a mansion? You want to lease one for four bucks a month? Wow. Just move to L.A. Hell <laughs> yeah, yeah, with 360 views. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's the move everyone's, a lot of people are trying to do out there to keep the house. Plus, the state is broke. Wow. Renting it out. Oh, the whole thing's freaking me out. Plus, I, there's nine zillion people. I live basically in a, in a city that doesn't have a water supply. It's really freaking me out. So this other conspiracy theory maniac showed me this thing on the Internet. This thing's pretty cool, actually. Oh, no. It literally, oh, no. Here we go. It literally can pull, like, water out of the atmosphere, like, seven <laughs> gallons a day. It can up to seven gallons. I'm of like, humidity? Yeah. Wow. Oh, just humidity, sweaty water. Sweaty water. No, no, no. And jet fuel all mixed in there. <laughs> I'll have a Bic lighter under a coffee cup trying to put, sterilize it. Right. No, it's, wow. uh, I like to see that thing. Liquid air pollution, yeah, basically. So it's like 1300 It's like 1300 bucks, though. Dude, How you get that, you get a bread maker. I don't give a fuck. And you got a gun. You're all set. That's it. You're set. How are you going to get set your protein? And you back Apocalypse. whatever dictator takes over. You're like, absolutely <laughs> yeah. right. Scientology and whoever, whatever the fuck this guy wants to do. I got my water and my bread. Okay, water and bread and your yeah. gun, you're fine. <laughs> you're, the... you're making it through this. Where's the protein coming from, though, Bill? Huh? 
I got a problem with your theory. Okay, well, they got this other thing that can actually pull protein out of... <laughs> no, I got nothing. I got, dude, there isn't... I literally cum. sit there... <laughs> yeah, right. This is why I got to get a dog or something, because I fucking lay awake at night, like, thinking about this stuff, and I can't figure <laughs> out... Dog. Every way, every uh, option you try to think of, there's just, there's just another dick in your face. You, you, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> they're, they're fucking people hard in this, yeah, they got uh, a this pipe city of ours. in the fucking water into uh, LA. Yeah, they steal like, it. Like they they take it from where? They steal it from the uh, Colorado, Colorado River, River okay. which doesn't reach the ocean anymore. <laughs> I learned that when I was in Utah. <laughs> it used yeah. to. Yeah, when did that stop? Oh, I don't know. I don't know on baby number 7 zillion and 20. <laughs> yeah. Oh. After what? <laughs> where it just it just ends? Evidently, the, I don't know. Just, they've been damming it off to to make uh, power and to divert it to uh, get water to certain areas of sure. this because it's the fucking desert. Yeah, they actually, you know, take the Mojave Desert and throw water at it and try to make it into farmland. So they've been kind of siphoning off of it, taking so, a piece here, you know, taking a piece there. You take a yeah. little bit of it. There's only so much. Oh boy, flowing down there, and then it just doesn't flow. <laughs> ah, that's not going to come back to bite us, <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude. It's 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 terrifying. <laughs> terrifying. It's terrifying. I love, you'll, you'll, I love the when only... Bill comes in and says that the things that we just look at and go read in the news and go, oh, Bill is, it's terrifying. I stay up at night thinking about this. Mm. Boy. No, I, people, I, you just get lulled to sleep. Wait. Like, I'm still blown away like these car companies are in trouble. It's like, how? How are you in trouble? How can I manage my finances, <laughs> but you fucking idiots can't do it, and then it affects me? I don't, I don't understand it. Yeah, and it, it was just one... Apparently, it was one mistake with the uh, car companies, because it was before the economy really took a shit, that the gas prices went up, and they didn't foresee this, and s kept building the big SUVs. Now, I think that's bullshit, like, people were still buying SUVs when the gas went up. No, it up. got creepy for like a month, and then it went yeah. back down again. Yeah. Dude, for a month, people were actually saying complimentary things about my hybrid. For one month, <laughs> really? there was this one-month hey, window. you must like that, huh? When it got up to about 480 a gallon, they were just going like, uh, so yeah. what's the deal with that car, you know? Before Started that, it was all like, you fucking right, pussy. Right. Yeah. Faggot. <laughs> beep, beep. The... Hi, faggot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then it dropped down to 450, and that window closed, right? No, they were no, back yeah, to hating you. It went you. all the way back down, then everybody yeah. started hating you again. Yeah, hey, we by the way, yeah. uh, we got to back up, because no one... Picked up on what uh, Bill Burr was uh, <laughs> describing with the water in the air <laughs> That's thing. That's right. Why did we pick up on this? Jared in oh Boston, go ahead. Hey, uh, Billy, that magic water machine you have, I got one in my basement, too. It's called dehumidifier. <laughs> it's called De a what? A dehumidifier. <laughs> yeah, but you can't drink out of it. It's distilled Why water. Why not? You just get I a little filter. My plants just fine. I can grow my plants just fine. I'll eat the tomatoes out of my bucket and my deck. I'll be fine for the apocalypse. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, email me. I want to learn how to do that. It is go like... Woes, go to woes. Do they not have them on the fucking left coast? You <laughs> go to woes. <laughs> uh, pretty That's... much described. Describe the humidifier. <laughs> is that maybe. what it is? I have no idea. Yeah, maybe a with a couple of filters. Yeah. Yeah, I never said that right. I was smart. With I a few filters, maybe, to keep the water clean and you're set. <laughs> hey, you hear about funny. your ShamWow guy? Oh, oh I know. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we Who get kisses the story. a hooker? What a dirty well, boy. Dirty, well. dirty boy. <clears throat> You know, That's don't, what he puts on his genitals after he bangs a hooker. Yeah, the ShamWow <laughs> sops up that fucking wet spot on the sheet. Well, Burr bought a ShamWow, right? You brought it to our attention on the show. but, but And then he bashed it, but he was using it wrong. Yeah. I was using it incorrectly. Evidently, you have to get it soaking wet. <laughs> Wring it out, and then it'll absorb it. But then still, in the end, you still have to use paper towels because no matter what you're doing, you're wiping the floor with something that's wet. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so it's not going to dry it. One of the funniest lines ever was Bill talking about his fucking sham wow and how it would be easier to clean up water with a plastic bag. <laughs> with the bag that it came in, yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck, that really is a fucking <laughs> sham wow. Anyone else nervous about the lights going on and off even more than usual? It's been today? happening for weeks. And then what, yeah, Friday was yeah. smelling like something burning? For weeks, those fucking lights have been going on and off like on a off, disco on off, in this on and off, fucking on and place. Off. So I don't and, know what the hell's uh, going on. Yeah. This, this whole recession is just making me feel a lot smarter. I always just assume yeah. people above me. They uh, really? with money. You always thought yeah, they, yeah. You knew really what they were did. doing, right? Yeah. And they just I don't know shit. fucked it all Two, up. Two, three months of, of a bad time, and all of a sudden the, the whole world ends? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're talking about that, you know, uh, all inclusive money, that mon the world money. No, but, man, it's uh, just a conspiracy. You're out of your mind. <laughs> they brought it to us before the news Bill, did. Bill was talking about this. Like years ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what? There's a bank out there. Now it's Chase Manhattan Bank. 
It's weird. It's almost like there's just going to be one bank at some point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bill, shut up. Like, it's going to happen. Like, they let all these banks just go. All, all, Dude, wait, you know, wait, I don't what? even give a shit. As long as I don't end up in a FEMA camp, I'm fine. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't want to be in a trailer? Yeah, staple a, a microchip camp. to my forehead. I don't care. <laughs> I, you beat me. I give up. The only thing you can do is learn how to survive outside. <laughs> then you think that you're winning. But then every day, you have to bust your ass like a farmer. Or yeah. Grizzly Adams just traipsing through Cutting the woods wood and <laughs> trying to shoot a possum. Figure out how to fucking make a fire. <laughs> right. uh, trying to figure out what you can eat off the damn thing. Trying to find out where to plug in your dehumidifier. <laughs> right. Starts raining, you're underneath that tarp. Oh, I don't want to have I had a nice house. Yeah. I played before the government took it. Exactly. I'll, I'll, I'll take a mud hut. <laughs> Let's uh, get the sham wow story on the air. Oh, I here. love this. <laughs> this story has sham. Don't have a cow written all over it. This is Vince. Why Why hear that again? Wow. Did, he, did he try to make a funny? You know, I hate when I just He's don't doing... see the obvious joke like that. You know, Jimmy, the that, that sham... jewel was just sitting there Let's waiting to be plucked. Especially don't have a cow, because that's such like a young and modern hip way of saying yeah, don't fucking don't have freak a... out. <laughs> cow, because it rhymes with wow. For sham, and then yeah. wow. Well, yeah. yeah. I hear yeah. there's a lot of sham oh. wow references in this uh, new story. Oh, good, good. I Listen for them. This. this story has sham. Don't have a cow written all over it. This is Vince Shlomi, the pitch man for that super absorbent towel you see on TV, Sham Wow. Well, Vince was arrested in Miami on felony battery charges, Sham Wow. Apparently, Vince was at a hotel in the what? company of a prostitute, Shambao Wow. Been Asian? Yeah. And according to police report, that lady of the evening bit down on Vince's tongue and wouldn't let go, Sham Ow. So Vince slugged her, Sham Pow. Both were arrested, but so far neither has been formally charged yet. Sham, wipe the sweat off your brow. What a bizarre story. Oh, I thought you're the bizarre part wow. of the story. Oh. At any point, do you think those news guys ever look at the writers and just be like, really? really? I, I got to write this shit? Because, you know, they're, they're renting modern comedies and, you know. They, they have to be smart to have that thought. Yeah. Um, one of the things we do on the show, Bill, is like when something happens live and you, you notice how dumb these people really are because they have nothing to read. Oh, my to, God. That was to, brutal. To, well, can we play the volleyball one for Bill? Uh, I got to say that it, Friday? you, you can't on. start doing stories like that where you're just doing all those stupid Stupid rhyming words. I mean, God forbid somebody, some kid breaks his dig of the dog. You know, somebody fired. Nothing on that one. I had higher hopes. <laughs> <laughs> you sort of laughed through the beginning of it. I, I didn't understand. I just thought it was such a home run. Digger yeah. the dog. You don't remember that toy? Yeah. I remember it, but I missed the where was Digger the, the dog. Well, if you do a rhyming word with digger the dog. I was just trying to think of other products that would be bad to rhyme the entire rhyme story with. with. Yes. Oh, okay. Wow, That's is that right. the hooker? Yeah. Oh, fuck he up. fucking punched her eyes, man. Yeah, she's got the... Holy shit, is her tit bruised? Yes. Oof. What the hell? He belted her in the tit? Ah, uh, I love this. I'm Look buy at her product. fucking face. He fucked her up. Yeah, it was almost like she was biting down on his tongue. Yeah. Wow. What did he like? Did he did he just take both of his fists and go wham right into her? <laughs> it, it's like that's called a defibrillator. Yeah. He just, he just <laughs> got <laughs> two at once. Clear. <laughs> wham. Both fists into her fucking eyeballs. <laughs> Holy shit! Did he fuck this chick up? I gotta admit, I, I don't advocate advocate that on any level. On any level, but a bruised titty is kind of funny. <laughs> a bruised tit is really funny. Yeah. It's the inside of the cleavage part of her tit. Yeah, it's uh, like a, it looks like a bad cantaloupe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got to rot. You got to cut that slice out. And there's a star over the nipple, so you don't see her nipple. But I like the fact they'll show her bloody black eyes and her fucking bruise. But just make sure the nipple doesn't. Her show. her eyes are blackened and swollen, and her eyeballs uh, have gotten yeah. uh, just burst blood vessels in the yeah. whole thing. That picture's called "Bad Day at the Office." Wow. Her arm is bruised. Is that, too. Was that as bad as Dicker the dog there? Um, <laughs> that's, wow. a, hold, that's, a, that's a tough one to get to. You, you enter the neighborhood, but <laughs> I don't think Dicker's going to be topped at all. She looks like she was leaning over reading the newspaper, like topless. It looks like a oh, news, oh, newspaper yeah. print on her boob. Like her, like her tit worked like silly putty and <laughs> yeah, picked up the go. comic strip. <laughs> and now you can stretch a... There you go. I guess her, I had to explain Beetle a little Bailey better is than on I her did. Tit. Yeah. Her right arm has a bruise, too. If you can see, that's obviously where he grabbed her to probably yeah, fucking yeah. get her off. Oh, the goon hand. He fucking gave her the goon hand. He gave her the goon hand on and the And then he probably right gave arm. her the goon hand with his left hand and then, like, punched her 
in the eye, and maybe that his arm hit her tit. Mm-hmm. Well, let's let's break this down here. Like yeah. A little law and order here. Something you're sitting there, you got your head cocked to the side, you know. Yeah. About to make this whore's night, right? You're gonna give her a little special gonna treat. Give her a little mm-hmm. fucking a little, little kiss. Kiss. Like uh, Richard Gere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's special. Oh, I thought that was just a cold sore, but that's where he no, uh, built he, her in the mouth. She's got stitches in there. Yeah, she got fucked up. He probably wanted to kiss, and she probably didn't, and he probably jammed his tongue in her mouth, being forceful, and, and she, she probably kept trying to stop him. Bit it. And then she fucking bit it, because hookers don't like to kiss. Yeah. So she probably got annoyed that he kept jamming All his right, tongue Jim, in her mouth. All right, Jim, so let me ask you this. When you look at the, uh, uh, the forensic evidence, what do you think the first hit was? To the titty? The arm. I mean, the first. No, the first thing he probably did was grab her arm, and that that elp, that bruise on the tit might be from his hand. He may have just grabbed her tit and, and squeezed and pushed and pushed. Because your face, if you're being, your tongue is being bitten. There's no way you're gonna punch her in the eye. You can't. Mm-hmm. She's right there. And then that but, was probably when he backed off. He probably grabbed. Still shiver. grabbed. I think he still had her arm and popped her in that that uh, uh, eye yeah, in maybe. her left eye. It's right if we're looking. Because that's like the one that really got the brunt of it. I think he just nailed her right in the bridge of her nose. He just bruised up both eyes. It, it, it's bruising up, and it is cut. <laughs> but the Bill's broken blood something. vessels. But the broken blood vessels are completely too. Yeah. He gave her the old hit. Marsha Brady. Yeah, oh, right in the nose. Yeah. <laughs> right in the nose. And then he had a belter in the mouth too. Jeez, what the hell! All right. Uh, wow, this guy's got a fucking like. He's got an um, anger problem. Really, uh, uh, yeah, a huge anger problem. He's got some kind of. Uh... Well, you don't know what happened, though. I mean, it's. Uh, <laughs> you don't Whatever sp- happens, dude. You don't spend $1,000 on a prostitute and then just fucking punch her. Now, I'm not saying he's right, but th- something obviously happened. Because you don't take a girl up the stairs to fuck her and then just fucking whack her for no reason. Well, Matt- other whores are going to come out of the woodwork. Oh, Matt- okay. Matt on Long There's- Island uh, has something we didn't pick up on. Matt, go ahead. Yeah, he gave her the slap chop. He did a little, uh, little slap chop. <laughs> the slap chop <laughs> to her boob. Yeah, <laughs> very nice, Matt. Yeah, but that, that's how they're reporting it in the headlines too. Really? Like, that he actually slap chopped well, her? Yeah. The this print article says ShamWow guy in slap comma chop bust. Yeah. <laughs> wow, he's wow. Really <laughs> fucked up. His mugshot. He looks fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. She Come looks- on, man. If you if was he like forty six? He's still single. He's still in shape. He's a psycho. <laughs> yeah, 44. Yeah, there you go. Hey, uh, we got the audio of the volleyball. Because you, you think that th- these dummies actually look at what they're writing for them and uh-huh. thinking, what are you doing to me? They, they, they don't have a thought in their head. This proves it. We, we like playing these from time to time. You're going to see this girl. She's being interviewed for some <laughs> volleyball oh, competition, yeah. uh, Burr. <laughs> okay. And, uh, you know, watch what happens to her and then watch how the newsmen handle it or the, the news people, whatever. Executive director of the TDC for just a minute. Well, She's fantastic. Your question? Oh, it's Tanzania. <laughs> well, no, it's not. But we got some nice parting gifts for you. Thanks so much for playing our game today. Uh, now, joining us is Nikki Allen, who's going to talk a little bit about what's starting today. Nikki? Yep. Well, t- starting today, we have a collegiate challenge. It's open to any college. Um, <laughs> any college. So. <laughs> oh, Nikki <laughs> has fainted, I'm afraid. Uh, Uh, Let's go back to the studio for a couple moments. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Wayne. We hope that Nikki is doing all right. We'll check back in. You You see Wayne taking her top off? (laughs) 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 Full day forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, he's right here. Move it in. There he is. Gosh, we're going to... Say a prayer oh, there. Wayne's right oh, shut up. Uh, gosh. I think that yeah. she said, uh, we'll off well the temperature will be dropping, yeah. too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Evening, so yeah, yeah. It just yeah. segues yeah. into his cheesy, <laughs> his ham-handed segue. They just don't have improv skills. If you skills. notice, uh, the clap, uh, no, not a clap in the sky there down at the beach. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Your big stupid head got out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you see her face? She just went, uh, <laughs> that's clunk. Yeah. Clunk. <laughs> Face you make before you pass out. Very oh. funny. And she started rocking like yeah. her, Whoa. Her, her, the inner ear part just went shutting down breakers <laughs> in your balance section of your brain. We got to shut everything down. Look, we got to re- go for a, a, a hard reboot of the look, brain. Look, she's wobbling. Whoa. Yeah. She's got. And then, oh, God. Ah. <laughs> what is she look dopey. Look at the other guy with his hands in his pockets. <laughs> he doesn't even he try doesn't to help. <laughs> <laughs> he watches her fall and doesn't move a muscle to help. 
Well, doesn't that's... even take his hands out exactly. of his pockets. Yeah, how come Eddie Trunk isn't helping that poor girl? <laughs> <laughs> lucky for her. You couldn't get luckier than fucking being in, in the sand when yeah. that happens. Yeah, true. <laughs> couldn't be a better place. Not much of a problem. No. And the guy doesn't even help her, really. He just, hey, I'll I don't think God the they weren't standing by, by the water. She would have drowned. Yeah. <laughs> And I want to know what this guy's awful Tanzania joke was in the beginning. Yeah, he the got, and, the, and the snotty reporter's like, oh, thanks for playing our game. Yeah, yeah playing like, our game. Go fuck yourself. He was still walking off his bomb with his hands <laughs> in his pockets. <laughs> yeah. She sure makes a dumb he face. He gave him the date rape drug. He didn't know he was going <laughs> to kick in that quickly. <laughs> he was hoping to get the interview out of the way first. <laughs> yeah. That's why that psycho didn't help. He's like, oh, God. It's on yeah. camera, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah boy. <laughs> Maybe rethink. they'll think she was just nervous about the interview. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. People look really stupid right before that. <laughs> oh, crowd is definitely getting the... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. We, we got some good stuff to give away today, too. We're giving away our office, Bill. All this oh, stuff has are. been sitting in our office for, in some cases, three years, four yeah. years. Yeah, it's the crap see, that uh, so we've been given over the years right. that it wasn't worthy of taking home. No. Yeah. As so you, you know, it's say, good. Yes. Yeah. I have a very good thing to give away. Yeah. A signed copy of my first headshot. Ooh. Yeah, that is that'll be really a, brutal. That'll, I'll show Bill. Oh, have I ever it, seen that one? That's not the Clockwork Orange, is it? No, it was old hat by then, Bill. Oh, no. Let me Here's see. My, this was 1992. Look, look at this. Th he looks like I'm a gonna street punk. I'm going to buy this. It's going to look the way I think it oh, is. Oh, it's free. Look, let me oh see. Let God. me see. <laughs> look at it. Ah. <laughs> 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 You look like a badass, though. Yeah, you look like a boxer. He does. He got that Sergeant Carter haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, Jimmy. You're a good-looking fella. You there. look like you could have played a bully. I'm saying you're not still adorable. Yeah, yeah. You could have played, played a bully. You could have. It was one, nah. of those, one of those teen angst movies. Yeah, yeah. one of those punks in Bronx Tale. <laughs> yeah. Throwing the Molotov cocktail. <laughs> yeah. The brim of his hat catching on fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, Jim. You yeah. really going to give that away? Ah, uh, you know... No, sure, I don't. Sure, why not? <laughs> what am I going to do with it? I got a couple at home. Yeah. Hey, we're, we were talking about reporters. Uh, the reporters get uh, pwned yes. with fake names. What's this about? Uh, there was some local news channel, and I guess they do birthdays and anniversaries on the air. So I guess all you got to do is just send them your name and, you know, what it's for, and then they read it on the air. So I guess some some smartass at the station decided to put, like, almost every every fake name that Bart Simpson has used, you know, <laughs> when he prank calls Moe's or something. Oh, really? So And they start reading them, and it's just nonstop, and it just goes on forever and ever. And it's time for birthdays. Let's take a look right now. We yeah. have Cindy Swanson. Happy 50th to my sister and a tom from your family in Novinger. They love you. And happy first birthday to Corbin Williams from your mom, dad, and Bailey. Scott Phelps, happy 32nd birthday. We love you. Lo love Holly, Mom, Tammy Vaughn, Joshy, and Libby. Uh, Lou Brickin, happy. I uh, hope your, your big party goes smooth. Love, Beth. And let's see, Gabe Asher, happy birthday, Gabe, from your mom, dad, Gabe sister, Asher. and your brother. Dixie Normas, happy 48th birthday Dixie to you. Norris. And Emerson Biggins, you'll, ha you'll always be happy Emerson. happy birthday Emerson. to you as well. <laughs> Craven Moorhead, happy 21st birthday. That's been a while for me. You came a long way. Anita Lay, happy birthday to my sweet little girl, Anita. Mike Hunt, happy birthday to my hubby, Mike. Anita Hooray, happy birthday, Anita, from your favorite son-in-law. And Lena Jansen, happy 90th birthday. Wow. And uh, here we go. I forgot. We got some uh, anniversaries here. Donna and Harry Mo Lester. May this anniversary be our best. Let's see here. Mike and Julia Hawk, 23 years ago on this day, I found you love, oh Julia. Uh, Aster and Emma Royds, uh, we love you too from the kids. Amy and Willie B. Hardigan, happy anniversary, <laughs> Mom and Dad. Love Joseph, Billy, Bill and May Ann Nays, happy anniversary to Bill and May Ann Nays. And, of course, we look forward to uh, celebrating birthdays and anniversaries with you. How did he not get it? <laughs> Come uh, on. Where is that? Oh Dude, I, when I, I saw on. it and I was like, no way. I'm like, this has to be, but it's not. It's completely not fake. It's real Who, news. It's, it's real news from like where? I got I to gotta figure out what Retardville. <laughs> yeah, where did he learn that broadcasting voice? Like, if yeah. you have no personality, just every other word, make it really Whoa, high. Oh, we got a good birthday. Hey. 
Emma Jolly. <laughs> Emma Roy. The best, the best one. Aster and Emma Roy. <laughs> Wait, what are their names? Aster, Aster and Emma Roy. And Emma Roy. <laughs> Asteroids and Emma Roy. I didn't even get that. That's fantastic. Aster <laughs> and Emma Roy. Asteroids. <laughs> It's on. It's on break. dot com. Yeah, it sure is. yeah, you can check it out on break. dot com. Give them a plug for that. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, asshole. Oh, I didn't get the first one. No, I, I, didn't thought didn't I thought he was trying Aster, to disguise sure. him. Uh, Asteroids. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was pulling some doubles on that, uh, that one. Uh, <laughs> no funny shit. <laughs> I had never heard of some of those. Like, uh, will he be hard again? <laughs> will, <laughs> will he be hard again? <laughs> 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 Gotta add that one to the old repertoire. Uh, Aster and Emma Roy, I'm yeah. gonna laugh at all fucking morning. That's a fucking nice. great one, man. <laughs> well, we got Bill Burns studio today. We should uh, take a quick break. Let's not forget <laughs> Bill Burns at the Trump Marina, Atlantic City, on uh, April fourth. How do That's they get right. tickets, Bill? Uh, BillBurr.com will have all the info. Yep. Let's just go with that. The early show is uh, sold out. Uh, That's so awesome. Bill has a second show on that uh, Saturday. Yes. Yeah, that's a great venue too, man. It's like it's like, it's like a big comedy. It's like 500, 600 seats. It's fucking it's a great nice. place for a show. You know what? We got to get into, yeah. we got to get into what they're banning out of Connecticut school. Oh, it continues. Nice, nice this is tease. something we uh, get into all the time. It's, it, we're raising a, a generation of wimps at this point. And it's oh. uh, this Connecticut school. Wait till you hear what they're banning now. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, cat lady. Oh, Uncle Paul. We got another lady with a lot of cats they found in Jersey, but this oh, this one is a real oh, one of the best ever. And they were eating her face. There were cats in there. <laughs> 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 and by the way, that news station, KTVO in uh, North Missouri. Oh, wow. Uh, so so KUNT real. would have been appropriate. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, uh, see? Still with the joke. You know what? Uh, Craven Moorhead. <laughs> <laughs> that one gets me all the time. Too. <laughs> Will he be hard? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. That will never be not funny. No, it doesn't fantastic. matter how old you get. Those fake names will always be. <laughs> the even fell for uh, the Mike Hunt. Yeah. Mike Hunt. Come on. I mean, Mike you Hunt. never saw Porky's. Mike, Mike, right. see that. Come Mike on. Hawk, too. Yeah, was come in, on. Added in there. <laughs> Esther and Emma Royds. <laughs> That's probably <laughs> the better. He's the got best the Emma Royds. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to continue with Bill Burr with some uh, good stuff on the way. But first, why wow. not? One more time. Dirk and Steve put this together uh, talking about Bobo Springsteen. They did a little something with Bobo here. It's the Opie and Anthony Show, Bill Burr in studio. Bill's going to be doing the radio show all week. We're pumping, out, uh, pumping up his gig at the Trump Arena for April 4th. BillBurr.com right. for tickets. One of the shows sold out. Yep, second show still has tickets available. Not for long, my friend. Not for long. Well, once they find out uh, the new star of the show, Joe DeRose, is on there. Well, you know. I'm actually, I'm opening for Joe. This is where the jealousy begins. Yeah, Joe's, uh, he's all right, man. <laughs> we should have had him on the show years ago. We're such idiots. But he's finally uh, doing the show from time to time. I, I was just looking at our little sheet. Fucking clapped in 64 today. Jesus. What the Doesn't hell? that freak you out? Yes, it does. Yeah, that freaks me out. I saw Elton John's 60th birthday. I was just like, yeah. good Lord. And fruit. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet his a... ass looks like that prostitute's titty. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> his rectum looks like a rye. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> yeah, you get a little older, and uh, you know these guys start hitting 60, and you start thinking to yourself, ah, I guess 60's not that old. <laughs> <laughs> me, and, uh, me and Bill were discussing uh, the uh, world. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, imminent collapse. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 20... yeah, me who described the dehumidifier, evidently. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, the 2012 <laughs> thing. I mean, it's all going to come to an end 2012. So we, we were, uh, yeah, we were just discussing how it's just everything's kind of getting a little frayed mm. and coming apart at the seams a little bit, and how how all of a sudden, and he brings up a great point. All of a sudden, Mexico is a problem. Like Mexico hasn't been a problem aside from the illegal alien shit. Sure. But that's that's like a given. But now there's other problems. They're like, well, you know, a lot of these tourist resorts, you can't go down there. They're not very safe yeah. anymore. They're saying things like that, and and oh, the drug cartels. They have weapons that the yeah. army down in Mexico can't. And all of even a sudden, somebody that. eating a bacon, egg, and cheese suddenly has an opinion on what we should do in Mexico. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you, at some point, we're gonna have to go down. We have to take it over. Yeah, is what we're gonna have to do. So then, with Canada's help. Yeah. We will then have to take over Mexico to, but it won't be taking over. It'll be helping yeah. them. Yeah. We'll be supporting them with our troops the, yeah, to liberation. get the drug cartels and liberate them from their lazy, corrupt fucking uh, <laughs> uh, culture that they have. <laughs> What's in it for us, though? Uh, 
The, uh, us? No. Really, All the water estate. we can shit out immediately. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Diarrhea dumps for everybody, for every uh, American. Well, it's just this consolidation thing where everything is consolidated into the euro and the Amero will be The our, North American Union. Yeah. We're going to have to try to babysit them and we'll need Canada's. I don't know what the hell. Mexico is the worst fucking thing because it's just this fucking, it's a lot of real estate. That is just shit, piss poor, broke. Mm -hmm. That they don't know how to fucking. They, That's what they they're building all those FEMA camps for. They don't know how to do anything. That's what they got all the FEMA camps for. How could a country that borders the United States like that be so full of fucking just dog shit? There's more imp uh, there's more poverty down there. <laughs> but it just sucks. <laughs> and and we're gonna. Have, you're right. They're they're bringing it up now for some reason. I'm, we just I'm can't, in Bill's we, camp now. We can't take it anymore. We just have yeah. to go down there, and we have to solve their problems. Yeah, we have yeah. to solve Mexico's problem. Yeah. Why don't we just kick the shit out of anybody who's in this country if they're doing the drugs? Get those guys out. Why do we got to go into their... Well, they uh, haven't said that yet, but eventually we, we got to get to the root of this problem. Hillary Clinton uh, did blame... God, she's a uh, America. She's <laughs> yeah. just a gorgeous uh, woman. And she stands in the background oh, with that look so in her face. Hot. Still pissed about the election. <laughs> oh, still pissed about her fucking husband getting blowjobs on the intern. And her yeah. fucking thigh ankles. Her legs oh. are actually upside down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, she did say that we're responsible for the drug. Uh, uh, our insatiable appetite for drugs in this country are responsible for yeah, the cartels getting so much money. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the cartels getting the money, and the weapons are coming from the United States. They're saying so. That's a way to you know undermine our Second Amendment. And then uh, we got to you know eventually. You're right. They're going to be like, well, well, you need need our help. So we'll come down there, send our guys down there. And do we have the worst neighbor in the world with Mexico? No. 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 Who has the worst neighbor? Oh my think? God! Fucking so whoever lives next to Somalia. Or okay, Afghanistan. That, yeah, Afghanistan. Well, it's a good, it's a good question. You take question. a hike up there in the mountains, they hang you upside down and like, skin you alive. Like yeah. they, yeah. they still do stuff from like the Middle yeah. Ages. It looks like when uh, when they're walking into the Forbidden Zone in the Planet of the Apes, <laughs> yeah. and there's just those <laughs> hanging upside down. It's like, fucking, oh, great. Yeah. The How about we turn zone? around now? <laughs> but there's always one dummy in your group. No, we got to see what's... Yeah, what's uh, out there? What's over that dirty fucking really. hill? Oh, speaking of that, you guys watch that show, uh, Arrested Abroad? Oh, oh yeah, 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 dude! Yeah. I I couldn't stop watching that show. I'm never leaving this country Isn't again. Isn't it horrifying? These guys are like, and they held me for no reason yeah. for fucking you know. I two spit years. on the sidewalk. You know, it's always for some dumb thing. <laughs> A lot of them, though, would, like they always well, seem to be some, got a bunch of drug yeah, some ones, English too. guys trying to like smuggle like ten kilos out <laughs> right. in a fanny pack. <laughs> right. And I made it the whole way. <laughs> yeah. Like then the they always get arrested. The and then they always goes, "What were you thinking?" And then they play that creepy music. I thought, oh. "What? What have I done? Oh. What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I'll never see my mother again. I'll never see my father. What have I done? I'm in prison. What have I done? <laughs> I got I got frisked. When we were in Brazil. Uh, which, oh. Brazil Ooh. scared me because you're traveling with these prostitutes." And it's like, uh, I, I didn't trust them fucking getting By throwing. mule? <laughs> yes. Their grandfather's pulling in a rickshaw. I, but I was scared of fucking being set up by a cop. Uh, we got pulled over, and I would always make the hooker travel in a different car because this way the hooker can't plant drugs on you. Uh, or throw no, drugs by your feet, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, the cop shook us. He, he fucking he patted us down. And he took us out. I was, I was alone. He's like, "Drugs? You got drugs?" And uh, yeah. yes, yeah. I do. You want some? <laughs> it was fucking need? horrifying. Um, you, were, you, were, you, were, you thought it was going to be what is this? Yeah, it, it's Pulls like it you realize pot, how pocket. helpless you are. Yeah, they have no problem th throwing some drugs You'd on you. You'd be done. Yeah. There'd be nothing uh, you could do about yeah. it. I mean, you know they want money. You could buy your way out of it. But it's like when you're there, it's like I don't have the comforts of calling people I know on the force or, or, or a lawyer. Like, you know, at least here we have some set of a fucking rules. I don't have any pull down there, Jimmy. Uh, I'm <laughs> sorry, Jimmy. You're going to have to do the time. So, yeah, that was uh, Comes down and visits wrecking. you and puts his tit on the window of the visitor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> And he brings Roland's clothes, and I fucking... <laughs> yeah, <Roland. laughs> and I sneak out. So they didn't ask you Roland. for money? You got out of that situation? No, because when he was asking me, he's like, you got drugs? You got drugs? I was just the adamant, <laughs> incensed tourist. No. Uh, no, I no, I don't have How drugs. How dare no. you, sir? Good for you. I, was I will call my lawyer. Yes. I was so obviously not carrying drugs. It's like, they'll set you up. But they don't care yeah. about that. I think oh, if, you're, if right. you got something, they'll really fuck you. But if you're fucking... 
I'm Mr. Straight and Narrow Tourist Guy. There's a million guys down there. They could just pull you out of a cab down there, huh? Ask if you got drugs. They were stopping us because we were staying at the Sheraton. And it was like, I guess, less than a mile. Patrice would know the logistics better. But there was a hill right after that, which (laughs) took you up to the project. I love it. This is such a crazy third world story. And then the middle of it. So, yeah, I'm staying at the Sheraton. I know the Sheraton (laughs) and fucking where they drag you out of cabs and ask you if you got drugs. We got got to get uh, Bob Kelly on the phone. He was the one that went to the worst country ever. Remember all those crazy stories he was telling about roadblocks? Where was he? He was... He was uh, traveling. Oh, with- that asshole decided the- to be worldly. Yeah, where'd he go again? It oh. was uh, not Peru. One not- of the most dangerous oh, places right. you could go. Guam. Like, yeah, Colombia. He was somewhere. looking for uh, like, uh, oh my God, why can't I think Bob today? Always- he-, he was walking around the ruins and tra- trying to get little trinkets. He yes. got a piece of a trinket and he th- Bob is desperately trying to find some kind of spirituality so he's not just the empty piece of shit that everybody knows <laughs> he is. <laughs> no, dude, I what? went down there. You know, it was beautiful, oh, dude. The my- <laughs> Shut the fuck. <laughs> Up, you know the Mayans, <laughs> and we always... found these ruins, and we're just walking on these ruins. Too. No, you weren't, dude. You know how many people have been there before? Yeah. Right. No, dude, we were in the woods. It was peaceful. <laughs> Shut your fucking I mouth. Have, I would have loved to hear him trying to paraphrase whatever pamphlet he just read. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dude, dude, the fucking Mayans, dude. You know, yeah. the fucking architecture, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Just fucking, you know. And this do, do with the sun. Uh, <laughs> you find these things, and you know they're just thousands of years old, dude. It puts it in perspective. You know every. No, it doesn't. He's a fucking. He's a fool. Uh, maybe <laughs> I wish he would have been fucking elephant napped when he was down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if the boys could find a little, a little taste of Bob Kelly being the world traveler, it'd be worth playing today for Bill Burr. Worst neighbors ever. They're saying North and South Korea, and then you got uh, what uh, Pakistan Guatemala. and. And in India, India. Oh, he yeah. went to Guatemala. In India, Pakistan and India and North Korea, South no, Korea. Any, yeah. no, anybody who's fucking bordering Russia, because you, Russia yeah. is like, it's like living next door to like a 6'5 ex-linebacker <laughs> who drinks and you know is dying to kick your fucking door <laughs> yeah. in again yeah. at some yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Bob Kelly point. went to Guatemala? Okay, so. Yeah, we're getting all the answers. He here. went relic hunting. Relic hunting. Thank <laughs> you. Relics. We got these relics, dude. I picked up this piece. And then I couldn't have anything. Remember, he was calling it like a piece. Yeah. There was this piece, and I picked it up. It's just and a it, rock that might have looked oh, like something. Stop yeah, you're it. not what finding this? value yeah. in nothing. So I'm trying to <laughs> yeah. find something that. Right. What value? Right. <laughs> One of the uh, conquistadors. Uh, and I was like, what did I do? Fucking done? idiot. We have to trash everything <laughs> what, on the show. What have I done? What have I done? We have to trash everything. It might have been a really cool experience for the guys. No. No, it wasn't. Dude, fuck no. that. Yeah. When you're going to get like abducted <laughs> in this roadblocks. Yeah, yeah, you don't no. need that. He was on one of his fucking, I'm, I'm going to try to be a spiritual guy treks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he fucking just hopped on a plane with some idiot friend of his who he thinks is spiritual, who isn't, who's probably just not a piece of shit like he is. <laughs> he Like anyone who's just not a piece of shit, Bob, thinks they have something really going on. Dude, he knows. <laughs> the guy's traveled. Shut up. He knows. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> Anybody with a yin-yang hanging off a chain <laughs> around the neck. Uh, <laughs> oh, I wish Bob was here right now. I'd like to spit on him. Just smash oh, yeah. him. Absolutely. Dude, you know there was like hookers hanging out right in front of those ruins? Of course. They're (laughs) fucking, they're awful. Because Guatemala and Bob said they all look alike. They all have like that fucking, that awful... Pitch black hair and cut a bowl cut. It's it's the, uh, the yeah they all have that look like from the late night give money to these kids commercials oh, yeah. where, where the uh, the women even wear those derbies <laughs> they wear like little bolo hats and shit. Dude, I went to Costa Rica and oh my god, yeah. I hear it's yeah. awesome down there. What? Yeah. Did the, you go to a resort? Uh, I didn't go to the awesome place. Oh really? <laughs> I was the on awesome the uh, Gulf of Mexico side and yeah. No, you, you weren't in Club fil- Awesome. Huh? Filthy. You Filthy want- beach. No, we did another stupid touristy thing. Like let, let's 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 rough it out. Let's go oh. sleep under a mosquito net. You're not, <laughs> right? you know. We literally did that, dude. Really? Our, our bug spray is is like I don't know what do you. It's like a an appetizer for them. Like their bugs down there were just laughing at it. They laughed, <laughs> lick it, right? it off. It's, oh, it's they, like they, barbecue they, sauce. They just got their insect hand on my forehead. <laughs> I'm trying to spray it. <laughs> Dude, literally. How do they get in if you're under the mosquito fucking thing? Because it doesn't fucking work. Really? It doesn't work. And uh, we had army ants took over, literally took over our our bungalow. And we're like, there's like a whole, like literally Tom and Jerry, like a line of a million of them. Soldier ants running back, telling the little ants what to do. (laughs) Discovery Channel shit. And we go to the, (laughs) we go to these Uh. ants patriots. 
<laughs> who are living in a fucking treehouse. I swear to God. And I'm like, well, there's, there's ants on it. And they're like, yeah, they, there's nothing you can do. I mean, they're going to be in there for probably about nine hours. They, they, what they do, they really just they clean your cabin. Any sort oh, of moisture. Right. 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 Great. They eat everything. They eat all bugs. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I, they, they fucking leave. After, it's like they, they, I'm they're, just saying, I'm stuttering. Cause I, yeah, I, yes. I said that. They don't, you just get out of there. And when you come well, back, they they're bite maids. You? Do they go after you at all? Oh, yeah, there. no, I walked up, and I was wearing my stupid, I'm on American tourist sandals. Oh, and I'm standing no. There, and right as the guy said, hey, don't stand too close, one of them bit me on my toe. It feels like a bee sting, but it go, it, it stops really quick. Yeah. And then I'm like, great. Did it I, swell up? I got bit by an insect. Yeah, that's not going to be good. In a third world country. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> right, I probably already have fucking malaria. Yeah. Right. But <laughs> one of them. Fucking delirious and fever. <laughs> right. <laughs> one of them bit you, and you felt it. Like, you know how many, that fucking, there's a million of them marching. That's got to oh. suck if they crawl on you. Oh, they kill when you. When you're sleeping and shit. Oh, yeah. Those stupid red ants will do a, a job. No, they it. got this thing down there as I was on my, on my zip line tour. I want to do that. The northern part of the, the rainforest. How are the zip lines? It was actually pretty cool. I would love to do Saw a zip line. Saw three toed sloth. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> What's a zip line? A tree to tree, it's my friend. It's the gayest way. It's, it's gay Tarzan. <laughs> How to, get, how to get from one to, one tree to another? You hold on, and they have you in a harness, and you go zipping yeah. uh, zipping down a line. You go basically, fl yeah, zipping down this line, Jimmy. The Do they take line. you over like a like a like a like a, a cavern or anything? I mean, like a like it was literally you were like a hundred feet in the air, and then That's and then so the cool, tree man. went like another two hundred feet in the air. That part was amazing, but they had like these Fuck bullet that. ants. The yeah. things, things were like three what the inches a long. Ant? It's this ant that has this fucking stinger on the end of it. Like Get a, like a out of here. Why are you there? Because I'm an idiot. Like, I went down there because I wanted to, you know, you watch the Travel Channel. They don't show yeah, the roadblocks and the military coups. You just show up. They like, don't tell you that Dole and Chiquita Banana own most of the land down there and the peasants pick it for nothing. Oh, yeah. And then you show up with your snorkel and your brochure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how's it going, everybody? And they just want you dead. Yeah, they all got machetes. I'm going to rob Everybody's you. Everybody's got a fucking machete down there. You, yeah, it's brutal. You point... You you stick out just go, as a, to, just go to Bush Gardens. You're telling like, the same yeah. experience. You're like me. You stick out like a uh, an American tourist, oh, yeah. big time. We can we can't hide. I got to wear a kilt and have a bagpipe to try <laughs> yeah, to play it off. Right. <laughs> That's why there's uh, the green alligator. The Epcot Center down yeah. there in uh, Disney. You just you you go around the little uh, lake in the middle. Oh, and yeah, you visit done. the different countries. Yeah. You're done. Then you I, pop out of Mexico, the other end, and uh, you're hammered know. drunk Nothing from drinking in all the other different countries. I admire Bill <laughs> trying to sleep under the mosquito off fucking netting. Yeah, I, I want to know more about and that. And there I am in fake Morocco. Yeah. Not a worry in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went Morocco. to Disneyland recently. I had a great time. I went there kicking and screaming, going, this is going to be terrible. By the, uh, I don't want to go to this shit. It's I was the happiest oh, place on earth. It was awesome. How that many? Pirates of Caribbean ride. Oh, yo ho, yo ho! A I didn't have a life for me. I didn't have a problem in the world. Right? The song, <laughs> yo ho, yo, and they're all animatronics chasing each other around. Yeah, no oh, robots. So happy. No pirates. No. Like I'm on a, on a cruise ship right outside yeah, of Somalia. You're fine, yeah. right? <laughs> what about the bullet ants? I want to hear more about bullet oh, ants. Let's get a bullet, bullet ants. Ant. Can you get you one see of those them? up on uh, the screen there, Dan? Yeah, oh, no, there Danny, was. We had, there was one like right on the tree. Oh. Fuck be funny that. if this guy was just lying to me and they don't exist. No, they do. I've seen specials on them. They're fucking awful. They're, but the, they're he, aggressive, he, too. He, he went to tell his story about how uh, you, somebody stole some shit or something in his, in his uh, two guys stole from his hut or whatever, yeah. his bungalow. Yeah. So they buried the guy up to his neck, wow. and they put a bullet in on him. Wow. Oh. Wait, a bullet ant? Just yeah, the just, they, name. No, they call it a bullet ant, he said, because if you get stung by it, it feels like he got shot. Fuck. Really? So wait, they yeah. weren't trying to kill the guy. They were punishing him. I got to tell you, after this this guy did that dehumidifier thing, all my confidence went through the floor of Bill. Anything, anything that I know. <laughs> Bill, are they, are they punishing the guy or trying to kill him? Like, would they bury him up? No, they the... were trying to find out who, who took... Uh... And then they kill him. That's I, don't they know, they, I don't think they killed him. They used know. one bullet ant to fucking get that info? Yeah. Hey, Bill, what about... Uh, that's a good picture. <laughs> Is this... Yeah, geez, there you go. It's a little pixelated. Who took that? Yeah, yeah, someone with an iPhone? It's <laughs> <Great. laughs> like a sketch. No, that's what how the bullet ant sees. Oh, <laughs> Bill, what about the um, the monkeys? I hear the monkeys come and steal everything from you. They're just oh, go. they had one. We didn't, but we didn't. We didn't have those. Uh... <laughs> By the way, you missed the bullet ants. Oh, okay. Now Damn I it. got that. I missed yeah. that. For oh, a second. Right. yeah. It's yeah. Fucking... <laughs> but I I hear they come right into wherever you're staying. And no, just... it, yeah. All that all that jungle shit is really interesting, but it's also uh, yeah. They had like those, you know, those. 
those poisonous frogs and shit, and they're just <laughs> hopping around out there, those bright blue things. And you're like, oh, look at the pretty frog. You know yeah. if something is a weird color like that, that it's Stay fucking away. poisonous. <sighs> yeah, those yeah. snakes that are like the... They got the red bands around them and black and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. The gay Coral rainbow snake. snake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, you you know, it just looks at you. You're dead. Yeah. Oh, look at these ants. They're like wasps without the wings. Ah. Basically, yeah. Horrifying. You should take some, like, ecstasy and go down there and start playing with all the colorful... Yeah, that's it. ...poisonous frogs and stuff. <laughs> what are these? Are these the uh, stick dick uh, yes. natives? Do they have the sticks on their wieners? penis gourds. Penis gourds? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'd love to wear a penis gourd. What, what are they making? Like ant soup? I don't know. The video said it was uh, some kind of weird ritual that involves all these bullet ants. Well, so great. they're letting them bite it? What great. the fuck? Why you know, they stop doing that? Savages. Yeah. Oh, wanna... God, look at him crawling all over Why that Why would you shit. want to piss off these bullet ants more? What are they crawling Oh, oh, oh because they put it in the glove. Always... This is what um, fucking uh, Steve-O did this. What? You're being it... tested as a man. They put your fucking hand in a glove and they dump bullet ants it's in it. It's a fucking... Shitload of bullet ants, and you gotta you gotta take the pain. Take Get the, the pain. Fuck out of here. Where do they put the ants? In the, in the gloves. You're wearing. So oh, now you're gloves. wearing two gloves, and they're full of ants, uh, and they're biting you. Uh, then you gotta do the little tribal dance there. Yeah. I would just not move and hope that they fucking relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> they're ants. They're not gonna relax. Just put them in your pee hole. Ow. <laughs> Why don't you just start squishing them? Treat them yeah, like the just... fucking ants that they are. How Start long does that go on for? Too long. What is wrong with the rest of the world? The bullet ants are biting this guy. I know. You know what's funny? This? You know, then, 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 then the medicine doctor comes over with some yeah. leaves, rub some leaves on it. You're like, okay. Can I go <laughs> to a leaves. Dwayne Reed now? <laughs> leaves and mud. <laughs> Pack it in mud with horse urine. <laughs> Thank you for the local food. His, his hands are all black. <laughs> They're black. What yeah. the fuck is the deal? Oof. Uh, what happened to his hands? Did they coat them with anything first or no? I, I, don't, I don't know. No, his arms are black with poison. Holy shit. No, come on. Dude, these guys Can't are be black fucking with poison. They must out of have control. Had darken his hands for the ritual. You think? I don't know. These are some I'm hurting just, motherfuckers. This shit can be considered a true warrior until he has undergone this rite of pain not once, but 20 times. What? Oh. Fuck you. It's Imagine hard. you do it once and then you go. All 19 right, more oh, to go. 19, yeah. to go. 19 more right. to go. Oh. Get the fuck out of here. How about halfway there? Oh, my All right, God. now I just got to do exactly what I just did. No way. I did 10. No you don't way. do it in one day, though, right? You probably do it. What, why am I asking you? I don't know. They're savages. I, I would hate no that idea. fucking bullet ants in my hands. Ugh, it hurt. So no more mosquito nets for Bill. You're done with no, that I crap. Like, yeah, no, there's a bunch of stuff like that that I'd like to see, like that Galapagos Islands. But you have to go through Colombia. It's like, okay, well, <clears> so yeah, much that's for a that. Nice, uh, spot. Yeah, fuck that. That's what you got Discovery Channel for. Mm. It was never safe to go to the Galapagos Islands, even in the no. olden <laughs> days. Like, it was never a safe place to go. Why is that? Because of pirates back in the old, old days uh -huh. and shipwrecks and storms. <laughs> and, and then, you know, just fucking thieves and now Colombian drug lords. You can't. You can't. How go the there. fuck did pirates find people out there? Yeah, right. That's what it kills me about Ocean's that whole huge. thing. How do you find them? There's got to be just a, a, a place where they, you know, shipping lanes. Yeah, I think it's like pretty close to where you got to come into port. Maybe. Ugh, I don't what think a, it was like the terrifying middle. Terrifying time. Imagine in the middle of the ocean. You're like, what are the odds a fucking pirate yeah. ship? And there he goes. Arr, arr, I What a stroke of luck, mateys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just beat out some typhoon in your wooden ship. Yeah. With sails and your wood, yeah, and, and there you are in the middle of the ocean. It's like, what is that? A pirate ship? Oh, a bunch of pirates. They all look like Alfonso Soriano. <laughs> <laughs> I got to deal with pirates. Oh. Great. All right, fire the cannons at them. Let's see if this works. Yeah, ancient well. technology. <laughs> Still happening today, those Somalian pirates. Yeah, are the like Somalian pirates with their fucking little holding the world hostage. I think that, that should have been one of the keys that the stock market was going to go down once the pirates came back. Pirates that making the, a comeback. Uh, the, yeah, the world economy might be in trouble. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, and it's not that they call them pirates is insulting <laughs> to pirates. They're like these fucking emaciated Africans yeah. with uh, rocket launchers on a little Zodiac fucking speedboat mm -hmm. <laughs> just flying up to a giant tanker and going give that to me they're ship jacking yeah. basically yeah, exactly yeah. and they, and then they go yeah okay and then a couple of like cruise ships have done the old zigzag move and gotten away from them where they just gun it and they're faster oh, that's, that's gonna be the future yeah once they put that cap 
What a world. And on the uh, two, 250 grand a year or more, you got to pay 90% tax. That's, yeah, that, that's yeah. when we all become pirates. Yeah, because uh, you know, the, the uh, upper class, the rich people, they'll just leave, dump their money somewhere and leave. And then you'll be stuck with lower class oh, I know. and a taxed middle class. And uh, I'm going to be coming up through the floor in about 2012 with like a hat with like bells on it. <laughs> Doing corporate gigs. <laughs> like <the> court jester. <laughs> hey, we got one more thing on the bullet uh, end before we move on. Mike in Newark. Mikey! Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Hey, hey Mike. Hey, hey, Dan, I've seen a few different specials on, uh, like, the, uh, the that pain scale, uh, and they said that the bullet ant is, like, far and away, like, the worst thing that you can have happen to you in terms of getting bitten or anything. It's like they said it's like getting shot. That's why, yeah, that's like, why they, they call it a bullet ant. Yeah, yeah. Well, a marshmallow well, ant. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's get, let's get uh, a, a bullet ant to bite E-Rock. Yeah, I wasn't trying to be a dick to that, that guy. Just, just remember that the guy on the zip line tour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the old zip line tour. <laughs> and then they take out the machete, they open, and then they hack up a fucking pineapple for yeah, you. you, know. you know, at any point, this guy everybody. could just snap a fucking <laughs> water take buffalo. A head off. They'll take my head off, and no one's going to know. <laughs> and you're all stuck in the woods with this animal. You would rot there, and they would never find it. It would be like, where did Bill Burr go? Oh, we I don't wouldn't know. rot. I'd be on the jungle floor about three minutes before I'd be devoured. <laughs> <laughs> but God knows what they got down there. All of a sudden, the leaves would just start moving, and something would just come up. Something would come up and just start eating you instantly. You're and right. I would still be half alive, my big stupid head going, uh, arr, arr. <laughs> Like the grizzly uh, man. Oh, no, you ever see the ones where the, the, that guy fed that baby chick? Have you seen that? This guy feeds a baby mm -hmm. chick to like a, like a, I don't know, like a python or something. Yeah. And he swallows it whole. Yeah. And the thing is literally going down his throat. Like, go, tweet. Oh, <laughs> tweet! shit. <laughs> tweet. Yeah. It's all muffled. Oh, my tweet. God. No, it was one of the, uh, I, like, I lost the part of my soul when I watched that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty bad. You don't like yeah. to see yeah. anything happen to those little chicks. Yeah. Tweet. <laughs> remember our grizzly man uh, trying to slap his little wings in there remember our grizzly man uh, discussions oh that yeah fucking that... animal oh. <laughs> I mean, that fucking lunatic he was never... just stupid if you've never seen grizzly man pick it up it is a, an He's amazing an idiot movie. hanging out with <laughs> grizzly bears and treating <laughs> them like they're people the biggest idiot ever oh, 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 hold on, hold on. oh my god oh that's that's horrible it's in the mouth of the uh, python the head's still it's out like, of... It's just going, hey, 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 hey. hey. Uh-oh. Is it still tweeting? No, it does. Uh-oh. It's pretty much in the snake now. You can see his head popping out a little bit. Oh, he almost oh, made it oh, out. Oh, he almost made it. He's trying oh, to... This is the worst. He's start rooting for the thing. Come on, man. Come, Come on, on make it. This. Why did I bring Come this on, up? get out. Come on. Open your mouth one more time. You he, got a shot. His head this. is hanging out of the snake's mouth. Come on, come on. You can He's do this. He's trying to get out. Come on, this. baby chick. You come can on. get it. Right there. Uh, go, go. Go, fly away. Oh, oh, oh. It's unhinged its jaw. It's hinging it back now. Oh, boy. I mean, you hear it getting oh, squished because when, when it cheeps, when it doesn't. That's a shitty death. Well, yeah, at least it's fast. Jesus. This thing is just. Uh oh. Oh, look at his little wing is hanging out of its side of its mouth. Why does he just bite it? What a dick. Oh, it's still tweeting. No, you wait. It's like all the way the down in his stomach. The amazing... Oh, no, look. Oh, there he goes. Oh, it's gone now. Shit. It's totally wait, going down wait, its throat. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Still, still chirping. It's... I hear the chirping. That's it saying, is that acid? <laughs> yes, is that, <laughs> is that stomach acid? Oh, oh. Imagine if your food yelped all the way down. That would blow. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't eat as much. Wow, look <laughs> at that thing. It's You could see its beak like... Oh my God! It's, it's halfway still down, chirping. And, he's still chirping. and the muscles are just pushing it down the snake's body. This is horrific. Where do we find this one, Danny? YouTube. YouTube. YouTube right. actually put that on. It's yeah. a little violent for YouTube. It's called "Snake Eats Bird Alive." Oh God forbid you put a boob on YouTube. But, yeah, don't but, put a titty on there. Yeah, but this that'll is be, just, that'll disturb acceptable. the children. Right, right. Yeah, no, there's some bad ones. That's with horrific. the snakes. Did you ever see the one with the goat? No. Yeah, he's, he's still chirping. chirping. That thing's going to chirp. You guys chirp are talking about the goat. Oh, you see him shitting it out and it's still chirping. Cheep, <laughs> cheep, This cheep. thing is easily a foot down its uh, throat at this point. Yeah. And those muscles got to be like fucking squeezed. There's no it. way it's still chirping now. Yeah. <laughs> it comes out. <laughs> Full grown. <laughs> Is that it? No, there was one, another one I saw in there where these guys basically fed a goat. Wait, 
I still hear it. Yeah, it's still tweeting in there. All the way in the middle of the stomach. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's in there. I would fucking use that stupid little beak and just start pecking at you, its I'm guts. sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you think, think it is? You, what do you think he's doing being careful? I don't want to poke the sick. <laughs> you think you'd chop the snake in half and take that thing out? It, it lives at that point? I was yeah, just wondering that. Probably. Now nah, you don't know. It might have fucking busted it up. Acid all over it. You'll have a chick that behaves after that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go pee real quick because Ozzy's calling in and sharing Speaking like three minutes. In three minutes, why don't we all take a break and set up for the big interview? We'll be back in three oh minutes. Oh, my God. Yeah, go with a short break just what is in that? case. It's a That's pig. A pig. A pig. They ain't going to swallow nah, nah, you got You got to get the one with the goat. With the goat. All right, we'll get the goat. I'm going to piss. We got lots to do. We're going to take a quick uh, we leak. We got Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne. Calling in in a mere couple minutes, so stay there. Bill Burr with us, Opie and Anthony. We're waiting for ah, we're waiting for Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne to call. They should be calling in moments here. Opie and Anthony. Bill Burr is going to be with us uh, all week, which is great. He's yeah. got the Trump Marina, Atlantic City, New Jersey, April fourth. <laughs> Go to BillBurr.com for more info and, of course, ticket info. And uh, we got another story or two out of Bill about Costa Rica as we Jesus we're in break. You had oh, to you see the monkey? monkey? Yeah. That, that, I guess the resort you were on, they had a monkey that just kind of hung had, out? Yeah, yeah, they had one that would sort of hung out. Yeah. And uh, it was like one of those little spider kind of monkeys, the little skinny ones. The emaciated sure. Paris Hilton little monkey, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sitting there and like, someone, you want to hold the monkey? And in my head, I'm going like, no, I don't. But like, you're in, you're in that tourist mentality. Oh, I'm a, I, I got to do it. it. Yeah. I got to do it. I'm on vacation. I want to yeah. take it all in. Not like I can't hold a fucking monkey in Vegas. <laughs> right. So I... I really reached my hand out, and this thing jumps on me, right? And within two seconds, he basically turned upside down, wrapped his tail around my neck, reached into my pocket, took my hotel key, and then just took off and went into a tree. Literally in about, like, 0. .5 seconds. And I was just standing there just going, like, really? Yeah, great. Really? That just really? fucking happened? Yeah. So I forget I somehow had some food, and I had to trick him to somehow put the food over there, and he put the key down, and I threw the food, and then I grabbed I had to grab the key and run away because he had a rope around him and get out of his reach. Since I'm running away, the monkey figures out what I'm doing. He just goes like, ah! <laughs> screamed at me. I was fucking freaking. I thought this thing was going to jump on my back and claw my eyes out. <laughs> he realized you pulled one over he on him. He was fucking pissed. He was fucking like pissed. And then, like the sadistic fuck I am, when I got outside of that rope, I was like taunting him. Like, yeah, oh, motherfucker. Course. That's right. Look got what I key, got. key, fucking yeah. monkey. <laughs> Even though he faked me out. Of course he did. He basically mugged me, and I got my, I got my key back. <laughs> yeah, you left with exactly what you had when you got there. Yeah. <laughs> so, wow, you won. You beat yeah. the Well, because monkey. I felt so stupid. I felt so... Yeah. I should have stole something of his. You outfoxed something lower on the evolutionary chart. <laughs> yeah. <today. laughs> Yeah, I know. I never, yeah. like I said, I'm a moron. I fucking, I, I put the food up and the turtle went for it and I fucking sucker punched him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take that, you fucking turtle. Well, you do any of those excursions where you, you're doing the excursion and you realize we would never allow this in America? We've done that break on our show where you go oh, to these yeah. crazy places and they allow you to do the most insane stuff. One guy called and he said, like, he was in a foreign country at a zoo and like our petting zoo where you just put a yeah. quarter in the machine get some nice little oats for the animals there's one i forgot where they were but you could buy goats and throw them down into the into the pits Holy and watch shit watch, watch the alligators the, get yeah watch you? the alligators and the animals devour <laughs> like jesus <fucking>. christ <laughs> right, just, thunderdome i just seen i've just seen stuff like you know the public bus goes by and there's like 80 people hanging on the outside <laughs> of it it's like a baby on the hood right <laughs> like yeah i don't think you can get away with that. Boy, that, yeah, that might be a problem that company's insurance must be through the roof to yeah. allow that <laughs> <laughs> i love the excursions at yeah. the resorts <laughs> insurance down there is it's all it's on you yeah, well, yeah what the exactly. fuck were you hanging off the back of the bus right. for there's and, always some shit on the pamphlet when you go to the resort that says, you know, we are not involved with the recreation down at the beach, mm -hmm. like the jet ski rentals and things like that, and the uh, paragliding uh, sailing yeah. and, and stuff like that. It's like, hey, you're on your own here. Oh, yeah. Because everyone you, you thinks could... it's part of the resort. It's like, what? No, they wouldn't let anything happen. There's a reason. There's, there's those Berlin walls around the resort. Yeah. I went to the Dominican Republic, and that's what I did. We got on the bus, like, hey, welcome. And then they just drive 90 miles an hour, blowing <laughs> by <laughs> some of the most Worst. unbelievable poverty you've ever seen yeah. in your life. People chasing chickens and shit in tin shacks. You're like, oh my god, what the fuck's going on? Then all of a sudden, you're just in this bar pool next to some guy from Wisconsin. Hey, how's it going, right? And then there's like these ten foot walls around you. 
And everybody, all the locals who work there are trying to smile, but you can feel it. You can oh, feel the resentment. You're like, you know what? Because they're going I... back to those shanty towns after their shift is over. Exactly. And you start feeling this vibe like, man, if I get a little too drunk late at night, if I get too close to that wall with my yeah. little umbrella drink, yeah. I'm going to yeah. get, yeah, sure. get yanked right up and Pulled over. over the wall what and a, you're done. My picture's going to be on CNN. <laughs> you want to be cutting into a birthday cake. People just <laughs> crying like, he was such a great guy. If you have any information. <laughs> you make a great point, though. The ride from the airport to the resort is, is oh, unbelievable. Atlantis and, is one of those yeah, when you're driving and, from uh, in the Bahamas what, when you uh, drive from the airport. What Bill to the didn't point out, though, the bus driver will always like kind of always like try to get your eyes to look at the water so you don't look to the oh. right at the shanty town. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at how beautiful the water yeah, look is. At this. <laughs> right. One look at of this. these beaches, <laughs> yeah. uh, beautiful and water, you, and then you look to the other way and it's <laughs> like, oh, oh. Yeah. over here are the children who sewed together the hoodie that you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> They're not That's too why it bitter. only costs nineteen ninety nine. Right. They're not too bitter. <laughs> you might not want to wear that around them. It reminds yeah. them of their horrible lives. <laughs> so, do the then, kids? Do they resent you down there, or are they happy you're there because you're the only thing bringing money in? Ah, uh, there's a there's no, a, there's a, there's a, there's a love hate thing. Yeah, yeah they're not there's, really. They getting... sort of understand that that's uh, bringing money in, but they don't get to see. They're not it getting the money because everyone, most of these islands are so corrupt. That was the Costa Rica thing when I went down yeah. there and I was getting dirty looks. I was sitting there going, okay, Spanish-American War? Nope, that wasn't them. I'm running through nah, all that little yeah. conflict. Grenada? Yeah. Nah, yeah. that wasn't it. And then it ended, I think it was the banana shit where it's just like Dolan and Jaquita own a bunch of land down there and the peasants have to pick the bananas. They don't make shit for money. Mm -hmm. And like I said, then you, you come showing up Mm. All full of bananas. Yeah. And all yeah. healthy looking. I'll have a, a banana daiquiri. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what yeah, they want to hear. Bananas, <laughs> that's uh, what they want to hear. Put him right. in my nice uh, frozen drink and I'm going to the pool. Hear him in the back. I'll give him a banana daiquiri. What do you do if you don't drink? I don't drink. So what do I do in a resort like that? Wow. I, I would definitely then, like, if you're into that, that sort of Discovery Channel stuff, it's, it's, this, that kind of stuff is, is really cool. Go but I'm telling point. you, like, it freaks you. Yeah, I don't fuck with the ocean, man. Oh, my God. Uh, monsters all. in there. I'm going monsters, is. and you yeah. can't even see them coming. Uh, you know what? I'm going on another diving trip in a week, yeah. my friends. I can't wait. Where are you going? Really? Fun. Uh, I'm just going away. All right. I'm going to ask you the hacky. And I'm going to go diving all week. I'm going to ask you the hacky diving question. Have you ever seen a shark? No. <laughs> Most people will say that just to say it. I've never seen one. You don't see anything that crazy usually. Dude, that's kind of a good thing. You're making it seem nah, like... Well, no. They... They, they, what, every time you jump in the water, they go, well, hopefully it'll be our lucky day and we see a shark. And I'm thinking, I'm not that brave. You I know, like they really don't attack there. people uh, right. when they say, shut I went up. snorkeling yeah. with sharks. And it was like we talk about, like, it has to be safe because they're, they're taking us out there. They no. must know what they're doing. They didn't know what they were doing. They leave they people. They were just taking a chance. They fucking go back with the boat and leave people out there when they to tell die. You, when they tell you to take all your shiny jewelry off before you go in the water with the oh. sharks, you got to think they haven't really thought it out. Because it looks like yeah. a fish scale. <laughs> you're a lure. Like, no, like, no lure. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, yeah well, yeah, you're oh, right. Okay. You're right. That's because yeah. if you get eaten, they want to keep your jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they divvy it up. <laughs> yeah, just leave your shit in the boat in case there's a problem. You know what? And then we get on board, back up on the boat with no incident, and then they they do a feeding frenzy with the sharks and you're like what? I was just in the fucking water with these animals what are you nuts oh wow it was it was not it was scary man and they do it there every day so every they're already day. getting excited well they assume they have like a box at the bottom of the ocean that they fill up with fish so the sharks stay down there and just kind of feed off the box but as all the people in the water they start getting curious and you watch them start spiraling upwards mm. and then the guy he times it out perfect. He goes, oh, I think it's time to get back in the boat. And the last person is getting on the boat as it's pretty much nipping at it. Wow. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, I'm sure we, that's That really... was one and done. We're like, we'll fucking never do that one again. Because then you start Jesus. thinking, they haven't thought this out. No. They're, it's a foreign country. They live by their own fucking rules. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, you're risking getting two of the worst deaths ever <laughs> and one. Getting eaten alive and drowning. And drowning. Right, all at the same right. time. What's got to be worse than when you feel the shark... Pull your fucking foot down, oh and your mask God. shoots off from the momentum. Oh. So now and you're you can't just like, breathe. oh, I can't breathe, and I'm being eaten. Like, <laughs> and you would you would try to hold your breath as long as you can because it's just a reflex. I wouldn't think that a lot of air is escaping your body. Oh, as boom, you're boom, going, boom. Yeah, as you're being <laughs> bitten in half. First yeah. thing you yell is fuck. Oh, no air. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I yell that? I should have just thought it. That what have I suck. done? What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, what have I done? <laughs> I'll never see me mom. And you think never you... see me leg again. What have I done? <laughs> me leg. What have I done? <laughs> that's that's, gonna that's a great response to everything. Absolutely. What have what I done? What have I done? Hey, uh, did you see the special on that girl in uh, Australian girl got caught in uh, New, in uh, 
Indonesia for, with 10 pounds of pot in oh, a yeah, boogie the, bag. Fucking La Chapelle, her name was, yeah, or something. Yeah, I saw that whole thing. It's Did really, you watch that documentary on it? On what? Yeah, they call yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, on the document, it's called Ganja Queen. Oh, you mm-hmm. can tell I wasn't even listening like halfway through it. I'm already thinking of the next joke I want to tell. That's the one. That's <laughs> Sorry, the one. That's right. the. Uh, Such an idiot. No, I was like, did you see that thing on the thing? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, there was a documentary. Go, on. Do you, do you, did you see that documentary about that woman? I go, yeah, they made a documentary about it. Did you want to see that docu- documentary? A, a documentary about the documentary. <laughs> yeah, Enough about the documentary. Uh, I, I was watching that. That was a bitch that got uh, caught with the drugs, yeah. and apparently her father though was into like drugs. The more the I read fuck? about it, I'm thinking she's guilty. <laughs> the more I read about it after offline, like online, the more I think like, wow, she she did it because uh, yeah. there was a guy who was really uh, like they said that there was a baggage handler, like the baggage handlers, and they said in Australia would put pot in people's fucking luggage, and then it would go under, the, you know, get, go to the next place, and when it when it offloaded the plane, someone on the other side would fucking yeah. keep the pot. And they said hers was a connecting flight to Indonesia, so somebody missed fucking taking it out of her bag, so it went right through with her. So that, that's what their excuse was: like we didn't fucking pack this. Holy it basically, and it shit. carries it carries a death penalty. In, yeah. in Indonesia, it's a death penalty. So um, I'm sure it's a nice civilized death too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking very Pain, painless and quick and <laughs> very, no, uh, no, very where all your heads exposed and they take nine irons to and, your fucking scalp. And after years of appeals, I'm sure it's not like right when they fucking put yeah. that gavel down, you are fucking lead, let out to a horrific death. No, this, this death. girl, like they actually, their their uh, their sympathy towards her, where they they just gave her life in prison. No, just, twenty years. She had twenty years. Oh, twenty years. I'm 20 sorry. Years she got twenty years in an years. Indonesian prison. Oh, that's gotta be wonderful. Easy. That's an easy ride. And well, they Come said on. that. Uh, the Dude, at, that stand on my head. After yeah. the case, the fucking uh, the guy, like the guy who was accusing the baggage handler, goes, "The more I've learned, I apologize to the baggage handler because he really thinks that she did it now." And, and they said she could have probably bought her way out of it if if she had just like her people had shut the fuck up and not went public. And not challenge the prosecutor publicly and call him oh, out publicly with the press. Because yeah, right. then he had to do his job. And oh, what a yeah, because I, I didn't believe her either. But the only thing that was making me believe her was like, who would be stupid enough to try to bring 100 pounds of weed yeah. in a boogie board bag? I'll just, well, I'll just check it. Mm-hmm. Well, she went with her family. What, and what have put, I done? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never see me mom again. <laughs> what have I done? They probably assumed that uh, I'm going with my family and uh, you know they're not going to search a fucking girl with their mom and dad and brother yeah, on the fucking trip. Yeah. Fuck. And they crazy. did. Oh, and then when no, you talk to the guy, that. when you listen to the guy who actually found the pot, you believe him because he worked at the airport in Indonesia. And he goes, uh, he goes, ah, before I opened it, like she knew, mm-hmm. like she panicked or she oh, said something. Oh, really? He's like, yeah, but when you listen to this guy, you're like, no, he's yeah. not lying. He just opened her bag and found fucking dope in it. Amazing. Oof. Mm. We got oh, to- you know what's the worst is that you're going Jesus. to the, 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 you're going to the plane, you're going right down the jetway and then you get stopped. At, that's what always happens. They get stopped at the last second. And then next thing you know, you get dragged into that room. And there's some Ooh. sweaty guy screaming at you with a cigarette. You're just like, oh, oh fuck. God. That's not good. Yeah, no, no, that isn't good. The top button of a military passport. uniform open. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is not good. He's looking at your passport and looking at you, and it's just hot, and he's cigarettes in his mouth. Yeah. Dried blood on the table in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> just like... I think we got to break into this conversation cool. for, for oh. the Osbournes, but oh, okay, maybe in a second or two. All right, and we got some good phone calls coming in. Friend vacation in Belize. Natives let you stand three feet away from the alligator. See, that's that? good. And you just assume, oh, all right, they mm-hmm. know what they're doing. And then another guy, I went to a shooting range in a bar in Bulgaria. <laughs> in a bar. Oh, what happened? My God. That false it's alarm? In two minutes. Oh, in two minutes. two minutes. All right, let me grab this call real fast. Then. Nathan in Boston, what's up? Hey, what's going on, Anthony? This one's a perfect one for you. Yes, sir. Yeah, we saw the, uh, We sort of uh, set it up there, Nathan. You went to a a bar in Bulgaria, and they and it's a shooting range as well. Yeah, man. You pay by the bullet, and they got just shells and, and <laughs> ridiculous guns. They shoot off AK forty sevens on the range. They got uh, you know AR fifteens with the uh, the laser scopes on them. Uh, like shot, like six foot tall shotguns. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. It was just in a bar. You go get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, get nice and liquored up. That's great. That's why you got to go on vacation because it's all I mean, the it stuff we a, used to be able to do uh, here. It was an official range, like you know, the bulletproof glass and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I wow. wouldn't assume it was amazing. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, right on. Why not? But it's Bulgaria. That's the problem. Yeah, gotta go to Bulgaria. Well, you, know, you gotta put that. You put that part aside. All right. And well, then where Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid got killed? Wasn't it Bulgaria? 
I think it was. Know. Let me ask uh, Nathan this. Last thing. That was the coolest thing you did. What was the second coolest thing you did in Bulgaria? I bet you there's a drop off. Uh, packed, packed up. Huh? Uh, the second coolest thing was packing up and leaving. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's Nathan. Let's say hi to Sean in North Carolina. Sean. Yo. North Carolina is going down, my friend. Going down. Oh, you think so? Go Huskies. I don't know, man. It's going to be a dope game, I think. A dope game. Nice. Dope Everyone's going to be smoking. What do you got on uh, Belize? Uh, one of my friends just got back from his honeymoon from uh, Belize, and uh, one of the things they did, you know, during the day was they were uh, able to walk down the river. The alligators are just like right out of the water, like three feet away, just throwing food to him, and the natives were laughing at him because he was standing too far away. The, do- the guy that was laughing the hardest was the guy that had one hand, and he was laughing at him. He was like, ah, you can get closer, you can get closer. He's like, fuck that. I'm not getting any closer to that. Like, I, I, I just can't foresee that at like a crocodile farm in in no, Florida, you know? yeah, no shit. <laughs> That's another thing too is how cheap life is down there. Yeah, there's always gonna be a guy with like a stump looking at you. <laughs> with his teeth all rotten out. Stump. Still can find something funny. Yeah, because <laughs> he doesn't have to pay taxes. There's no mortgage. Of course, well, he's enjoying life even though he has one less head. Now we're in this weird zone of Mari. Mari has young teen girls addicted to sex and violence. Really? That's Mari's show today. It's it's. Do you think he's doing this to help? Yes. Or do you think the title of the subject is titillating enough to get people to tune in? I just feel bad for Mari. Ugh. You know he wanted to be like Cronkite. Yeah, Mari. He started on that road. Well, we have young teen sex addicted to sex and violence. Amazing program. Yeah, Walter Cronkite finally sells out and just does that shit. Well, on our stage is a Ku Klux Klansman and some Negro. <laughs> then battle it out here on our stage. <laughs> yeah, if he's still alive, he'd be hosting like a reality show. At least yeah. like 20 whores in a house fighting over a has been rapper. <laughs> Uh, how did you feel when you saw Jeff with Jessica in the hot tub? <laughs> it hurt your feeling. Like, oh, Walter, what did you, what did you do? How did it get to that? <laughs> I'll take this moment to whore plug myself. Uh, I'm going to be on Hannity tonight. Nice. Um, oh! So I don't know who I'm going to be on with. I have no idea. Hopefully some interesting people. Very good. Yes. I'm just going to well, spout my communist, vo- uh, communist views. Yes. You're... Have. Your commie fucking... Yeah. <laughs> Obama's plan doesn't go far enough. <laughs> <laughs> Knock just, the rich down. Just say that. Sean will enjoy that one. Uh, He'll go with that. You should change your opinion each time you're on that show, because you're on a lot. One time, just be like a bedwetting liberal, and yeah. then just be a religious right-wing conservative. No, what I should do <laughs> is change it every subject tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what... You know what I mean? In one moment, it's God and country, and the next, it's like, and I don't want prayer in schools. I should be, yeah. be an inconsistent asshole. <laughs> Agree with both of them. You're absolutely right. You know what? I changed my mind. That's a damn good point. We really are a disgusting country of capitalist Change bigger. your mind, guy. The badass teenagers have just hit the stage with, oh, yeah. where they're taunting the audience, and then mommy cries. Like, oh, here, there shit. They go. Oh, you don't know me. Oh, d- that oh car- hell. I just Look remember that Cartman episode. Wow, she yeah. got some nice boobs. She's though. fantastic. She's she's got got nice, I do what I want. Boobies. Yeah, because they're fourteen. Oh, they're fourteen years old. Awkward, with fucking giant tits. <laughs> Where's Sam? We gotta like do a little uh, killing time. Maybe we start giving away the stuff from our office before the Osbournes uh, call in here. By the way, Anthony, Bolivia, not Bulgaria. Oh, it was Bolivia coming in a lot there. All so. right, thank you for uh, Sam. Why don't you work the crowd with some of the me. stuff we found in the office? Bastards. All right. Uh, of course, it's the last week before <laughs> we move over to the big building with everybody else, and uh, we're clearing out the offices and finding stuff to give away to our listeners that show up. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Bill? I haven't seen his fucking ponytail afro. <laughs> oh, isn't that great? Yeah, he they... looks like he should be just one of those one of those old like archive footages of those naked hippies at Woodstock. <laughs> 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 yeah, the contest continues. Uh, I don't know. Selma Evans hair. <laughs> Danny and Sam are still. You know what? That deserved a bigger left. That's actually uh, perfect. <laughs> all right, Sam is studying the the stuff. What do you want to give away first, uh, Sam? Well, I think it's going to be a package deal. Okay. Straight from the Opie and Anthony office. It's Jim Norton's never before used office phone. Wow, it's still wow. in the plastic. Yes. Wow. 
Come hey, on. with this new uh, stimulus package, this is what the Wheel of Fortune is going to look like in about three years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got one left. Uh, yeah, that's... Wait, Ed, you're taking that paper after all? Yeah, I want to read about the first photos of Atom Blast. Yeah. There's Japs a... and stalling. Yeah, it's a newspaper, obviously. Oh, we got Ozzy on the line. Hold on, Sam. <laughs> they were stalling. We'll get back to you in a second. <laughs> Nuked them. <laughs> Ozzy, Sharon. Stop stalling. <laughs> hey, we got Ozzy and Sharon on the phone. Welcome Hi, to the Opie and Anthony Show. Doing? There they are. Hi. Hi, Sharon. And Jim Norton, How of course. You? Good. Where are you guys? You still in the hotel, or are you in the car on your way to uh, Regis? No, we're in the we're in the hotel. Say, say hi to Ozzy. Hi, hi, hey, Ozzy. Ozzy. Now you guys you guys are going to do Regis. How hard is it to do uh, to do Regis and not drop f bombs? Because you know you guys you kind of you kind of curse a lot, which is I think what people like about you. How hard is it to do that show and just not drop a fuck once in a while? Uh, well, it's easy for Ozzy because he's too busy staring at Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> he likes her? I'll, 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 I'll be doing my stay, staring at Regis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it, in the same age bracket. I'm getting there quite... <laughs> is, it, <laughs> is it obvious how fucking short Regis is when you're sitting next to him? Because I've seen him in person and he's like he's almost, he's almost dwarf-like. Is it uncomfortable to kind of pretend that he's not that short when you're sitting next to him? I've never seen him stood up. Oh, you just on the chair when you walk in? I always sit down. I've never met him. Feet dangling. I can't <laughs> stand up. <laughs> oh, wait, is this your first time doing the show? For Ozzy, yeah. He's never he's never done it with Regis. Always, um, he's been on holiday every time Ozzy's done it. Oh, boy, Regis is probably going to be really um, knowledgeable when it comes to uh, Ozzy and what he's done oh, over yeah. the years. So you're in a rock and roll band of some sort. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, I got to talk about this variety show. Um, what? Where did you guys get the idea to do a variety show? Something that's kind of been like off the uh, burners for um, you know about thirty years or so. Well, it's not a variety show, as you know, a variety show. It comes under the heading for network TV. Of variety because there's music and it's non-scripted, mm. but it's not um, a variety show like you've ever seen before. Well, what made you want to do it? Because it's like you guys were like you couldn't make a move a few years ago without everybody knowing every aspect of your personal life. Um, did you kind of did you kind of miss miss being uh, in the spotlight, or were you kind of like relieved to be away from that for a while? Well, Ozzy's never been out of the spotlight. I mean, his entire life has been in the spotlight. But this is, it's not a reality show. It's something very different. And I think that when you get asked by a major network, if you want to do a show, it's very hard to refuse. Yeah, I, I guess so. I mean, it's, it's amazing when you look at Ozzy's career. How I mean, you started, what was it, 68 or 69? And, uh, I mean, part of it is, is you being the manager has managed to keep him relevant. It's not easy for uh, an artist to stay relevant through almost four decades uh, of all the coming, like the hair bands and grunge and, and punk rock and all the shit that's come and gone. And you've really managed to keep Ozzy very, very relevant. Well, he's, I mean, he's done that with his music, but um, yes, it is um, traditionally hard to be, to be relevant in this industry. But I think because, you know, Ozzy is so unique, there's only one Ozzy. Hey, did you hate, did you hate uh, the, 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 I guess, being under the microscope for the reality show? Did it get to be kind of irritating after a while? Um, yeah, it, we, we definitely had it with the show. I mean, it was, I'm glad we quit when we quit. It was the, the right time to do it. Yeah, now everyone's trying to, like, recreate what you guys did, and uh, they're falling well short. Well short. Uh, I, I, everyone else out there is boring as they attempt to do what the Osbournes did. The Kardashians, yeah, that show sucks. The, oh. the family jewels. Yeah, the Hogan family thing, uh. or whatever they're calling it now, because the whole family's broken up because of the attention they got on that reality show. Yeah, not, none of the other families are funny. Every, no, everybody no. in the Osbournes was hilarious. Horrible, right. They all had funny personalities, and everybody else is a bunch of duds. Yep. Yeah, the thing is they, they're finding these people that don't have personality, so they're trying to make scenarios up for them to make them interesting, yeah. and they're just not. Which mm -hmm. family do you think is the most boring family that you've seen on TV? Yeah, that's a good question. Jesus, where do you want to begin? <laughs> Everyone, you know? 
the only reality show that was any good was Anna Nicole Smith. Yeah, yeah. that was a good one. Absolutely. Because she was just kind of being herself. I mean, uh, obviously. I, well, yeah, she, was right? a, she was a train wreck. We, we all yeah, like watching and, train wrecks on TV. Exactly, and, but she was real, you know. She yep. was real, and she was an interesting person, no matter how much of a train wreck. She was very interesting. Mm -hmm. And you get these people that don't have interesting lives. They've got no personality, and yet they get a reality show. Yeah. How about the Gene Simmons show? Did you, do you think that that had some moments where it was funny? <laughs> And do you know what? We never, ever watched it. Never saw it. That means they hated it. Yeah, I was trying to get them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get it to trash somebody. Yeah, who, do you who do you think you're talking to? We know how to read between the lines. Hey, you, uh, you said what? How dare you? <laughs> you know, I've been real busy lately. I didn't get a chance yeah. to see that yeah. one. Oh, is that still on? <laughs> I've, been working, I've been working a lot at night. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know what? I, I loved uh, uh, Sharon on Charm. School, and then the big reunion show. I, I, I'm sure you can't really talk about it, but that was amazing what you did to stick up for Ozzy. I, I just want to give you props for that because you you took oh, a you, thank you so much. You took a big chance there. I mean, you really trashed this girl and beat her up around. Right on yeah, and that that, uh, that that show there you did. How, how much fun was it to yell at those whores? Um, it was. Do you know what? It was a really fun show. The girls are all crazy, and you know. But it was it was a fun show to do. Do yeah. so you know who's doing it now? Huh. Ricky Lake. Oh, Ricky's going to be the new uh, madam or whatever the hell you guys are called on that show. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Did, Sharon, didn't you say when you were in one time, like on the Osbournes, you guys didn't do like second takes or third takes? Pretty much what you did is what they caught on film. Uh, there was, you see, the thing about ours was it was really organic. There was no take. They just rolled film. I mean, nobody said, oh, that bit's great, but we didn't quite hear the end. Could you say it again? Yeah. None of that. Yeah. See, I did an episode of Family Jewels uh, where we roasted Gene Simmons, and it was like I had a couple of lines beforehand, but they said they, they, they called it assisted reality, Ugh. where they uh, they go, okay, here's the setup. Uh, Nick, the son, is trying <laughs> to get into the show, but he's not old enough. And I'm like, oh, what is this? And that's when they go, well, it's assisted reality. It's kind of like reality with a storyline. Yeah, they're pushing planned, them into... Planned uh, reality. Yeah, yeah, which is not a reality show. Oh. Well, because they, you know, what no, happened was... Not on, on bad shows, it's they, not they a reality show. It's it's not. You know, it's not in the term that a reality show should be. Whenever it's like that, it's just not. What, real. what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Yeah. What, and what about uh, you had said when you were in too that Ozzy might tour with Sabbath is like a fortieth, uh, a possible fortieth uh, anniversary thing. Is is there anything uh, even being spoken about with that? It goes back and forth, back and forth. You know and. And now the guys are touring with Heaven and Hell, and Ozzy's working on a new record. I, we've just got to wait for the time to be right. Yeah, what is Ozzy doing right now? Attacking the mini bar? <laughs> What's his favorite treat in the mini bar? Yeah, does he does he go right for like the snacks in the mini bar and you get to the hotel? He goes for the Toblerone to give to me. All right, <laughs> he's a romantic. <laughs> yeah, sure. I uh... talk to him. Yeah, come on, Oz. We didn't know. He wasn't saying anything. We figured he left because, I mean, I... I Early in the day for me. <laughs> <laughs> you got to figure. Of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, Oz, we love you. you. Yeah. Hey, Ozzy, when you see when you see Sharon get really pissed off, like uh, like you know, like in that in that thing where she threw the drink on somebody, did, does it frighten you that you realize you're married to somebody who just doesn't tolerate an ounce of shit from anybody? No, there's one thing about my wife. You never, if you, you say whatever you like, you say something about the family, and it's over. Yeah. So she can take the criticism, but if, but if anybody goes after you or the kids, there's a problem. Mm, the claws yeah, come out. That's tough to for any reasonable person. I mean, it's, it's, people haven't got any barriers anymore. People don't, just go straight for the balls, you know. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, he's right, True. man. How is uh, how is uh, Jack and Kelly? <laughs> go straight for the balls. Great. They, yeah, they're good. Are they out with you guys now? Are you guys all doing the Regis together? No, they're in L.A. doing promotion, and we're here in New York. Do you hate going on the road? I mean, after all, I mean, Ozzy, you've been touring for so many years. It's like you, you get a break for a few months, and then you're back out with a new album. Or you, now you're back out with this. Do you just want to take a couple of years and just kind of do nothing? Um, it, 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 it's, it's like... It's not like a job. It, it's... Uh, 
I've tried that retirement thing, but it, it, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, how can I retire from what I do? It's, it's, it's uh, not a nine-to-five job. It's, in some respects, it's, it's more than a nine-to-five job, but I, I, I couldn't see myself doing anything different, you know. You went through a bunch uh, of... Uh, okay. What? No, no, go ahead. I, I almost interrupted you. No, we he lost. We oh. couldn't hear you. Oh, yeah, I know. On the phone, it's kind of hard with the speakerphone. I was saying that Ozzy had gone through so many retirement tours. Like, you know, like I guess from like the mid-80s on, it was like, this is it. And I fucking bought it. I went to everyone thinking this was the last time I was going to see him. And, and here it is, 2009, and he's still doing a new album going back out next year, which, which is just, it's just great. Well, it, you know what, it's what, it's what people do, and it, it's like I don't get when people say, are you going to retire? It's like... It's like when I had an, I read an inter interview by Paul McCartney one time, and I said, well, you've got all the money in the world, uh, what, are you going to retire? And he said, Why should, what's, all the money in the world is one thing, but it's what I do, you know? Yeah, exactly. I, Enjoy I, I wouldn't mind slowing down the schedule some, somewhat, but... I can't say, I mean, I don't want to retire quite yet. Yeah, no, you shouldn't retire. Uh, I just mean, like, because the schedule is, is pretty grueling, I mean, with, with gigs and with all this other stuff. So. It, 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 when it all boils down to it, it's a job, you know. It's what I do, and I love it, you know. Yeah. I, I'm looking forward to it. My father works in a factory most of his life, all of his life, and then uh, he, he, he went for voluntary retirement, and he died, he had nothing else to do, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah, they say a lot of old people get, like, really depressed when they quit working because they just kind of feel like valueless and like there's nothing Happens going all the time. on. No purpose, yeah. All You're just time. sitting around waiting to die. Yeah, the, what have I done? The thing is, I think somebody <laughs> put it best when they said, you know, how can you retire from life? Right, right. Well, what would you next... Yeah. What, would, what would the next thing be? I mean, obviously, if you're doing music and you're doing TV, I mean, does, does production have any interest for you at all or, or does that hold no interest for you whatsoever? Production means... For you, record production. Oh, no, I mean, no. I, um, I, I can't stand being locked in a box in no daylight for days, you know. It's not for me. I, I want to see Ozzy start I like a... I, I want to see Ozzy start like a country music career, Sharon. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would wash. <laughs> you guys are tonight. You got a you got a great spot after American Idol. I mean, nine twenty five. Oh. Uh, uh, it's actually it was a Tuesday night. I'm sorry, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, and it's on Fox. And they don't know when the other ones are going to air. Um, no, because I think they're too scared. They want to wait and see if this one's accepted by the public first. Okay. Right. I'll see if people like it or if it gets yeah, some kind of. And then they'll figure out where you know where to put the thing. Are you surprised? Exactly. That, go on. Are you surprised because Rosie O'Donnell did a, uh, and, and Rosie you think would be the perfect one to have like a, a even though this is not a variety show, but this kind of show, and hers did not do well at all. Um, which I, does that bode well for you, or do you think that bodes like really badly for you guys? Yeah, because our show is nothing, nothing like that at all. I mean, you know, it's. Uh, yeah. God, you, you couldn't be further, you know, further apart. It's, yeah. it's like saying, you know, it, there's no comparison at all. Right. Yeah, there is a confusion out there because Rosie O'Donnell did the basic 70s variety show and it bombed horribly. They only gave her one. And the, the Osbournes Reloaded is definitely not a variety. There's a lot going on besides some of the variety show elements. You're doing skits um, and... No, it doesn't even have any variety show elements. You know, I, I think people think that we're going to have a door that, you know, oh, let's see who's at the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, another celebrity comes walking out. Oh, and let's see, you know, <laughs> then they break into song and start, you know, that's not what we do. Yeah, it's a variety show. <laughs> yeah, there you go. She nailed it. Yeah. So you guys... You know, but that, that definitely isn't up. So you guys do. Uh, you know, it's more. It's more pranks on the audience and pranks on each other. It's just really, you know, irreverent fun. Cool. Uh, was there anything that you wanted to do that they said no to? Um. No, not really. They didn't. They were really good. You know, to work with. No, we we were. You know, we had. You know, the license to do what we wanted. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we hope it's a success for you. I know phone interviews are a pain in the ass. I mean, uh, I, I hate calling it. I mean, I'm on the show every day, and I hate when I'm on the road. I have to call it. There's the delay, and people step it over each other. But, uh, you know, we appreciate you guys calling in. and we Absolutely. We, we definitely wish you luck with the show. I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy that you're doing something. Anytime you guys are on television, I'm happy. Um, I think it's great that you're, you're part of mainstream America. Well, because they do things very differently. You know, they got you, you guys got balls, which is uh, refreshing to see. You don't you don't well, sell thank out. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, is Jack still climbing mountains? I just need to know. Oh my God! Yes, and he's leaving tomorrow for New Zealand, and then he goes to Dubai, and he's starting again. And he's just an adventurer now, huh? Yeah, he is. He's like bloody Indiana Jones. <laughs> what a what a story! Uh, what a story that Jack has now, and now he's uh, climbing mountains. And I know they showed it a million times on TV with you're the nervous parents at the bottom waiting for him. To, for him to get to the top, and and then you you, you met him at the top. I, I tell you something. They've given us, you know, a schedule of what he's doing on his new show, and I only got to page one, and I had to throw it away. <laughs> you didn't want to know. <laughs> hey, is that going to be on? T is that going to be on TV somewhere? Yeah, yeah, it's coming here. I think it's going to be on the Discovery Channel. Oh, right on. I, I'm looking forward to that as well. So don't you wish he would just kind of stop with the extreme stuff and just kind of like be an accountant or something really safe and like relaxed? Yes, I do. And, and his dad and I say it every day. Why? Why? <laughs> you know, it's just, but you know what? Is that how you say you it? Or are you really like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I know. It's like you can't take your kids and wrap them in cotton wool. I wish you could, but you can't. Yeah. And, uh, and Amy, once again, didn't want to be a part of the show. She just doesn't like the public eye. She just kind of likes to hang in the background and live her life quietly. Yeah. She, you know, she likes to have her freedom to go where she wants, and nobody knows who she is. And she's, a, you know, a regular person. Cool. All right. Well, listen, we, uh, good luck today on, on our re How, What time are you guys going to be on? Because uh, we shouldn't promote something that's against the radio um, show, but I'll watch it. 10 o'clock. Yeah, so they're heading yeah, over what there. Is, what time are we on, dude? Uh, you guys are going to be on in about 40 minutes. In about 40 minutes. Yeah, we got to get them out of there then. Uh, All right, guys, well, thank you so much. Ozzy and Sharon, always a pleasure. All right, good luck with the show thank today. You, and, kids. and good luck. We'll see you soon, all right? Yeah, absolutely. God bless. All thank right. you. Bye, yeah, guys. The Osbournes reloaded, uh, premiering tomorrow night on Fox after American Idol, 925. Wow. Phoners are tough, man. They're a pain in the ass. They are. Yeah, that's a stupid delay. There's always a delay because, I like, know. you say something... And you're like, oh, they didn't hear me. And then you start talking, and they hear you. Oh, Lord. And they start talking. What? And then there's, I didn't no, hear I what you were saying. No, I was going to say that what happens is there's a weird delay. I was what? listening to the other part of the and conversation. Yeah, well, I was listening, too. And then there's a speaker All phone. Right, we that. get it. What? Huh? <laughs> Who's talking? Oh, no, you go. What? No, you... What? No, no. I, uh, you were... Dude, I, I, I do I, phoners, and I fucking... I, I've never... I hate this. Ever been comfortable doing phoners? I can't do them. Mm. Bill Burr is the yeah. king of the phoner. Oh, yeah. Are I you good at the men? Yeah, he does uh, very well. Yeah, yeah, I. You do. Do I? I yeah, don't you know. Do all right. with the well, I, think I, I think, well, I've done all right with you guys because you guys know me. So. Yeah. Well, you know we're rolling our eyes and stuff. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, dude, I've had some bad <laughs> dude, Another I, conspiracy, I, huh? I, I had one, uh, <laughs> one radio station I called up and uh, the thing it was going great. I was killing. And they were like, yeah, what was up with that Philly thing and something? I mentioned the Opie and Anthony show. And the guy goes, oh, okay. And he just hung up on me. And I just started oh, howling, shit. laughing, going oh. like, wow, I wonder what they did to that guy's morning show. I can oh, tell it was just one of those guys you guys I know just <laughs> trashed him up and down. Dude, that's <laughs> happened to me like three times. Either I walk in and you just feel the vibe. Like, okay, they have a relationship with the comedy club, so they got to put me on. But yeah, yeah. they have taken a pounding. Oh, We have yeah. fucked it up for you guys when you hit the road. <laughs> You don't think I know. You know? Dude, there was one down in Philly. I walked in there. I felt like uh, I had fucking like an angel heart. I had killed one of their brothers and stole somebody's heart and put it in there. And I was just starting to piece it back together. What the fuck had happened? Uh, nice. And I literally said that to the lady when I walked out. I go, did they uh, have a little uh, yeah, back and forth at Opie Anthony? Yeah, yeah, I think when they were dead. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. they did. Yeah, they kind of did. Why yeah. were they not? Were they just awkward with you? I was definitely working for the laughs. It doesn't, wasn't any uh, sort of, hey, we got a comedian. It was just like, yeah, so Bill's here. Evidently, he's going to be at the Yuck Yuck yeah. Barn down the street. Let, let's acknowledge we got a little sponsorship with this club, and you just get your jokes yeah. out of the way. So, Bill, what's on your mind today? Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like one of those? That's a, yeah. that's a great opener. You got, hey, grapefruits are wacky, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, great. <laughs> All righty, then. Steven S. from Bayshore. Uh, hey, oh, please ask Sharon. 
the question all of America wants to ask. Can we expect to finally see Shields and Yarnell on TV again? <laughs> <laughs> Shields and Yarnell. <laughs> they, did, they did a little of that variety, huh? <laughs> Pippi's making you know, a living off that. Somebody, oh. somebody fucked up with this Osborne show because they're kind of pushing it like it's a variety, like a variety show. show. I completely thought it was that kind of variety yeah. show. And then when I said, okay, then it has variety show elements, she's like, no, it doesn't even None. have that. And I'm like, none well, at all. Well, you better not yes. pick up any magazines because they're kind of selling it like a variety show. Oh, yeah. So. yeah, that's that's never it's never. Uh, I don't know. That's not a good wow, sense. look at this financier guy, this uh, guy from 1945. Yeah. He's uh, predicting, he goes, as we see it, the market will rise 50 points in the next three years. <laughs> oh, nice. 50 <laughs> points in three years. What was it at that uh, point? I don't know. The Dow Industrial was four. Yeah. It probably was, like, <laughs> ridiculous. I can't find it in this stupid paper. I ask shitty interview questions when I'm a fan. No, you were good. You were not good. good. You were really worst. good. Jimmy, relax. You, you were, were good. good. Get, get the sports set. Oh, movies. Just a faggot. Movies? Hey, not Jim, not movies only are... did you ask great ah, questions, you kept having good follow-up it... questions. You yeah. want to see a bad interview, you should have let me do it. I would have been like, so, is it I cool mean, to be like I, that Chris Farley I love the character. Chris Farley thing. You asked that a good was one. awesome. What's the worst family, shows. the most boring family you've seen? That was a good question. Yeah, yeah but th one. that's the only thing I can think to do in half, and then it always ends up, it's going to get them in trouble, but she was good at, at you know, making that funny. But uh, once Ozzy said, you know, everybody always goes for your balls, and I wasn't going to ask him what he thought about the guy's hair from... Uh, what, Helix? I'm trying to think of one of those 80s. Oh, See, yeah. look, I'm petering out with the questions oh. just talking to you here, Jim. Hell, it beats yeah, what sorry. I was saying. So, you guys are married. Yeah. Wasn't that bad, man? What are you talking fucking about? Fucking horrendous. Great. I'm just. I should uh, have a yeah, fucking, yeah, the Charlie oh. Rose of uh, XM yeah. Radio. Got to get you a big, hard wooden table. Oh, fucking Sit asshole like I you, am. Like you're important. You know what? Sam's going to save uh, this uh, this break here. He's Danny gonna... Kay is at the Asta Theater. Sam's got wow. the microphone in, and he's going to start giving out this stuff from our oh. office. You Today's bet. items, yes. As we clear out the office for the big move to the <laughs> other building. All the leaves are brown. <laughs> every, every, uh, everything was so cheap. Yeah, like sweatshirts, ninety nine cents. Nice, Jesus and, Christ. And, yeah, but you made eighteen cents an hour. I know. Rent three dollars. Yeah, sweatshirts are actually very expensive. Three dollars, see? <laughs> like you'll yes, you'll find it at Hearns. There's a sale this uh, Friday and Saturday. You can get a, a sophisticated black dress. For eight dollars and ninety five cents. And you know what's funny? That guy Hearn was probably just some dude, somebody you went to high school with. It's back yeah. when a mom and pop store could make it. <laughs> Hearn. Hey, Pat from Winaki has a great uh, Ozzy and Sharon line, but I just don't want it to ever get back to Sharon. Oh, but it no. really is funny. He's he's oh. playing off the whole, you know, she's a little bit country and he's a little bit rock and roll, but changing the. Oh, <laughs> the, oh, first oh, the country. Changing Marie's line, <laughs> just a little yeah. bit. <laughs> We love the Osbournes, <laughs> but funny. Pat from Minaki, that's a pretty good line right there. All right, Sam, what do you want to do? It's up to you, my friend. Well, today's, Where were we? We were just about to give out today's first prize pack. <laughs> don't even look at him. First prize like a, pack. He's a tambourine. Yeah. Today's first prize package includes package. Jim Norton's uh, official unused office phone. Hold on, Sam. I didn't hear ooze from the crowd. You know, when you're when, yeah, when you're big. Um, yeah when you're mentioning these items, I want to hear some ooze and ahs because this is a big day for you guys. Big day. Yes. Yeah, so this was given to Jim in October 2004 when we first started here at XM. You'll also receive an XM MLB T-shirt in size XL, never before worn. You're kidding, Sam. No. Oh, oh listen to the crowd. Right now. They're like and we're that. giving this stuff away. And now they're in. And a and third item in the recession. Prize pack? And finally, <laughs> are we calling these office prize packs? Yes. <laughs> the prize pack. The final item in the prize pack is yeah. Stephen King's novel, Liz Lizzy Lizzy's Lizzy's story, not signed by Stephen King. Oh, wow. wow. Right. I, I, that one is actually signed, Sam. Are you sure? Let me see it. Yeah. Yeah. It is signed. Jimmy's right. You just didn't see it. Yeah, dope. I didn't open it. It was two pages in. Usually it's the first page in, but yeah. it's two pages yeah, in, see? Yeah, it's right. Yeah, see, it's right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's on the second page. You know how much you can get for a Stephen King autograph book? What does wow. the autograph say, uh, Jimmy? Howdy, faggot. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it's so odd that Stephen King would write that. Oh, I didn't. Uh, yes, <laughs> please. <laughs> All right, Sam, you just... So now one lucky winner gets this prize pack. You could just, prize hand, it. Pack. You could just hand it to someone. Sam's open feet 
I want to fucking snap Sam's feet together so they point got in the same penguin direction. Penguin feet. He really does. He does. He has his penguin he feet. Fucking. He needs. He needs orthotics on his dumb feet. Braces. I had a buddy of mine who was in Polio sales, braces. and he had a theory. Anybody who stood like that was a fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> so one time he was trying to teach me how to sell this guy, and this guy's sitting there saying all this dumb shit, and as the guy's saying why he doesn't want to buy a health insurance, he hits my elbow and he points down at the ground. And I see these stupid wingtip shoes. <laughs> Pointing at different poles of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's out there with the audience. A big and audience today. Yeah. Today's first lucky winner is this guy in the green hat. Oh, Yay! Wow. Wow. There you oh go. No. That's good. Oh. Doing great things here on the Opie and Anthony show. Sam, give, a, give another prize pack away before we move on to something else. Two in one break off. That's crazy. All right. The next prize pack <laughs> is. We're out of our minds. Yeah. We're giving it away. Who likes teddy bear figurines? Who doesn't is the question, Sam. This prize pack <laughs> consists of the Killer and Buzzy, which are two teddy bears, one with a chainsaw and one with a machete, and a limited edition box set of teddy bears dressed up like the Ramones. Oh, wow. wow. Dude, that is... The uh... Ramones! <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Sam, spread it out. One <laughs> per <laughs> customer, because we have a lot of... Audience members. I own one oh, of those teddy right. bears, by the way. Not yeah. the. I have one with his. With he's in a little tub, and his wrist is slashed, and his fucking arm is hanging out. Please, <laughs> oh, nice. it's actually, from the teddy bear. It's really a cool little porcelain series. <laughs> you well, know what's this... funny? That background music actually just made me happier. Yeah. Doesn't it? it? Took me back to a simpler time. <laughs> yeah. No job, just a paper route. When you fake yeah. being sick and have chicken soup at home and fucking the Price is Right was oh, on. That was the shit. Uh, it always yeah. reminds me of not being where yeah, I'm supposed that's... to be. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> With a, uh, I want to have that on my iPod, just walk fever. down the street listening to that. With a ball bag fever? Yeah. Your, oh, your the taffy bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little taffy bag. Your, your fever sack. Your tiny little ball bag stretching uh, out. <laughs> Mama <laughs> sniffing it to make sure you're getting better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then it would suck when, uh, when school would let out. Because then it's like, well, my day's over. And now it's yeah, just a regular day. Now, now i got twice as much work to yeah, catch up yeah. on. Yeah, it's like, Fine, now yeah. this is what I'm used to. Yeah. Fuck. But you still got to stay in. Yeah, yeah, now you, you have to stay while out. everyone's playing outside. You, you made that like little yeah. negotiation yeah. in your head. Like, well, fuck. Yeah, but that time from like, smart. from like 9, the, the morning, 9, nine right up to noon before you start seeing yeah, like, yeah. ah, man, they're at lunch right now. They're yeah. at recess. But that first time. Oh, you're just great. watching TV yeah. on the couch with the blanket on you. And then, yeah. And, nice. And then, it has that, then it has that freak yeah. snowstorm. You're like, ah, they're all sledding now. Fuck. What an idiot. Why didn't I check the weather? <laughs> well, fucking, uh, it's after, like, you know, it's after school, and, you know, your friends are all playing Ring Around the Rosie, because that's what you do after high school. <laughs> but your friends in a circle. <laughs> <And> they retarded. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, the retarded girl's name was Rosie, yeah. yeah well, of course. <laughs> right, they put a cock ring around her neck. <laughs> I like your cock Sam? ring Oh, you like the pictures. cock ring picture? Yeah. yeah. And it did look like the uh, wheel of a ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Sam? Yeah. Well... The limited edition box set is going to this man in the tie. Why? Oh. Just because he has a tie, you give him the best gift? Yes. What the fuck's that about, Sam? He looks like a collector of fine things. <laughs> Again, <laughs> why'd you give him that? All right. <laughs> collector of fine, <laughs> fine <laughs> things. And Buzzy is going to this gentleman in the striped hoodie. Yay. And mm. the killer will go to this gentleman with the cat hat and the leather jacket. Ooh. I like uh, how you're giving this out. To the closest people to the door. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. pretty much it. <laughs> so if you're really spreading it around the bleachers, yeah. aren't you? So if you're coming this week, just sit close to the door and you'll yeah. get a prize. Yeah. We still got lots more stuff. And don't forget about the mystery box. <laughs> What's in the mystery box? I, well, I didn't take a peek. At the end of today's giveaways. Yeah. If any of the fans are unhappy with their prize or prize pack, oh. they're allowed to trade it in for the mystery box, which has mouse shit on top of it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Look at his feet. What yeah. happens when they all trade it in? <laughs> don't, new don't fix them. They are, yeah, his feet are fucked up. They're crazy. Yeah, you're fucking fucking you know what? You're going to get hammer toes. That's dude. what happens. Yeah, really? That's what yeah. happens. You Why get hammer toes out of that. Yep. Why didn't your parents do what the right... What have I done? Why didn't the what parents... Have I done? <laughs> Why didn't your parents do the right thing and get, and get you the and shoes? Abort with, you. With the, <laughs> <laughs> get you the shoes with the bar. There's nothing wrong. I'm I had I had a family up. member that had the shoes with the bar to straighten that shit out. You need fucking Forrest Gump braces. Yeah. To straighten those feet out. <laughs> They're right. You already have his mentality. You know what's funny is he's trying he's trying to straighten them out. And that's as I know. close as he can get. It's them. not even yeah. working. Now his knees hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He straightens them out. His fucking ears flop out more. <laughs> his fucking 
I'm, I'm going to get definitely pulling some fucking ligaments out. I want to get a, get him on a ski slope, man. Just fucking snow plowing <laughs> the entire shit. day. Jesus, dude. I think Enough that's snow plowing. I'm telling you, when your Let's feet speed up, when your feet point out like Little that, ski it, joke for everybody. Thank you. It means you're in pain of some sort and you're avoiding pain. Like your, your, your body's just doing that. So it doesn't hurt. So what you need is you need some kind of corrective orthotics. And that will help your feet get straight because you obviously with your arch or something's all fucked up. Doctor Norton, I'm telling you because I went to a, a podiatrist and she made me walk and she looked at me and she knew it was wrong. She's like, "Okay, you having problems with this one?" I could tell because it yeah, kicks you're out a little. Fucking limping. Yeah. Yes, and I kept going, "Ow!" and pointing at my right foot. And she said, "I bet it's the right one." Why don't we then do? I fucked her She's face. She's a sharpie. <laughs> she sure is. Why don't we give Sam like the the Kathy Bates thing? Oh, hobble him? Yeah, let's hobble you. Why? Because hobble you. Just to get him back <laughs> Why? straight. <laughs> Why? All right, so I don't want to be hobbled. Does it feel weird to stand like that? Yeah, Just really weird. straight like I'm right. like a human? Stand, stand normal, like you are normally they're, they're You're cool. a bow-legged no. zilch, too. His fucking, he's got, like, fucking lasso legs. <laughs> no wonder he wants to open her. Hey, fucking cowboy Sam. You look like one of those plastic cowboys you took off the horse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, and you they could stand never, stand, they could no. never stand up once you took him off. He's just there. He's all <laughs> fucked up. Uh. <laughs> Hey, He's uh, got Captain Morgan legs. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, why don't you give out? It, it would make me very happy. Could you give out one of the copies of the Bromance book, please? I thought we were giving it, one person gets all of them. Don't well, correct open. I here. just want to make sure these people all walk away with something. Yeah, all right. Exactly. Unless he rocks to find more shit in our office to give away. Mm. No, this what, is, explain the Bromance. Give away himself. <laughs> yeah. Explain the Bromance book to Bill Burr, please, our guest in studio. This sounds great. Well, yeah, this is it. like... It's At the almost Trump Marina Saturday night. <laughs> yes, he is. It Sorry. will help you this Saturday. Yes. It will help you gain a bromance. It's called Brocabulary, yeah. and it's called the New Manifesto of Dude Talk. Mm -hmm. And once it kind of once you willy nilly just open it up and give uh, Bill Burr any an page is a treat. I, I, so I, I don't love, even have to. I look. love like these these kinds don't of books. They are kind of fun, right, Bill? Yeah. Oh, yeah, my God! Oh. Anytime they're up by the cash register, I just they're a hoot, Jim. Yeah, as you would say impulse buy. Like if I was like. Damn, bro, you're a real flirtuoso. <laughs> that would be like a virtuoso when it comes to flirting, but it's for dudes. I'll tell you that street slang. It's like I can never it's quite, I can never quite pick it up. It's amazing. A flirtuoso. This is just like talking like the black guys. And you talk to <laughs> it's your, beautiful. You talk to your bros like this, right? Yeah, right. Uh, give right. us another one there, Sam, please. Um, you could say climaximum overdrive. <laughs> Which is the point just before you come when you start doing her in double time. Oh, shit. Oh, You're man. Yeah. Fucking shit. Yeah. Is this the one I peed stuff. on? Yes, yes, this would be the one. This is the famous, not, not this exact book, yeah. although that would be wow. a hot Wow, that's what's in the mystery do, do, box. Do they, do they have cues in there where you're supposed to high-five after you say that dumb shit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> motherfucker. Come on, brah. Up top. <laughs> Bill, we had oh, the author on the phone, and while he was still on the phone, I peed on his book. <laughs> it's mic'd, and all you hear is God damn it. fucking piss hitting I really book. miss doing this show. I got to get that shit in my car. I swear <laughs> yeah. to God. And then, of course, we had to go, are you hearing this? Do you hearing this? <laughs> Being animals. Okay, one more, Sam. Well, you might talk about your stallywhacker. Oh, what's a stallywhacker? Which is a tallywhacker yeah. that's as big as a stallion's. So it's like you have a really big penis. Oh, holy shit, is that awful? That's a book? Why is that the anti-pussy book? book? Is what? that what it is? Yeah. And why is Sam closing the book when this is going so well? What's Sam, there's some you? big laughs in here. Let's go. We some got more. some laughs going. The gang's out there enjoying them. And you're the a fan gang. of the bromance. We all learned that. Because yes. his knees are swollen from actually having <laughs> his feet straight. Because <laughs> <from Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> his feet are broken. <laughs> <laughs> Bro Ken. <Yeah. laughs> Hi-yo! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Yikes. We'll be back after these messages. Oof, that joke was broable. What's that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? <laughs> uh, Sam uh, gave me the nod like he found a really good one. Yeah, yeah. Sam. More yeah. bromance vocabulary. Like sometimes when you're talking to a girl in a bar and you see another one that's a little more busty, you need to make a cup grade. It's to upgrade Jesus to a girl with a bigger Christ. bra size. Jesus, <laughs> Oh, no. This is fucking painful to listen to. <laughs> it's hurting me somewhere. Just the sound <laughs> and, and then the thought. Do, do How you, does this hurt? How do you get pain from somebody? So Olivia Newton-John broke a teacup? <laughs> <laughs> Can we go to break with me pee on this guy's book? <laughs> Thanks, Ann. Huh? <laughs> we played it today as part of a production piece. Okay. Yeah, but can we just play oh, the uh, oh broad? <laughs> yeah. If they could find it real fast, because that would be a great way to go to break. <laughs> just the sound of pee on his dumb book.
Go ahead there, Sam. Well, like when you're hanging with your bros yeah. and like uh, down in beers, yeah. if you down one and just slam it down on the table, you might say, dude, you just committed bruthanasia. This is, how can this what? be real? <laughs> Like, I guys. want to hang out with this guy just to see if he t tries to use it just to try oh, to get yeah, like, some yeah. sort of conversation about his book. Yeah, ex yeah, oh. and, and like get it into the 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 yeah. culture, popular culture. How many pages of this shit? I don't know. One is too many. Oh. If there was a leaflet, this would bother. Me. You should have a listener memorize as much of this book as they can, and actually go out to a bar and just try to hang out and meet. You know, and go, hey man. <laughs> You just committed <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> euthanasia, <laughs> and the guy would probably like unless he punched you right in the face, he would probably just like like politely go, ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah go and fuck then yourself. the second you did another one, it's like, all right, we get like it. it wouldn't take more than one. <laughs> Most people would punch you in the face after one, right? But after one, but if you kind of just pleasantly chuckled after one. The second one, Looks you like you gotta go make ahead. a cup grade. Cup grade, <laughs> hey dude, <laughs> I think you should make a cup grade. <laughs> yeah, but you might want to not hit a, a guy who's saying this stuff because uh, one of his Vincent Van Bros might be with him, which is a bro who is so loyal he would cut his ear off for you. Dude, what, you're my what Vincent he, what Van What he really? Bro. I know that's oh. what I want to do after hearing these. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying it was a gem, but it at least deserved Vincent a chuckle. I, me, I, had, I had to scold the audience. I didn't like the fact that they stared at my clever joke. Yes. Well, <laughs> a Vincent Van Bro would be opposed to just some silly wanna bro. Some what? A wanna bro? It's, it's as described a dork who tries to be a bro. But it's nothing but a wannabe. Well, how could you be a wannabe if you're using this language? Then you're a bro. Mm, yeah, but he doesn't know the language. He just probably picked up the book and it just—you know what I mean? Like he doesn't live no, the bro life. No, I don't no. know. <laughs> he doesn't live the bro life. You like this stuff, no. Sam? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I don't um, even know what to believe in. Uh, no, uh, I don't even know. Ass. But you know yes. something? This is a great country that you can actually, you know, make a little bit of money doing that. Yeah. I actually thought that when Os Os Osborne's uh, kid is climbing those fucking mountains. Hey, this is a show. Yeah, just climb up there. Yeah. There you go. Hanging out. Film it. Well, let's see if you T know. square feet has anything else. To do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saving me there. I just really T square feet, huh? That is good. Yeah. Well, a lot of my favorite things to do with bros is just relaxing or whatever. Yeah. Sure. And so sometimes you need some chiloquialisms for when you're just chilling. You know? Chillaxing? Yeah. And so, like, you might say you need to make a chip trip. And that's a trip to a convenience store to pick up chips for the game. Yeah. Oh, is that what that is? I, I wasn't sure. I couldn't figure that out. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck it's was really that? going deep, man. I thought that was taking the lead ones out of the retarded kid's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> This is another good one. Yeah. <laughs> you and your bros might want to play a game of chilliards. Chilliards. Which is billiards when played for the purposes of chilling with your bros. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. Who's this? This is for like 12 year olds or something. My fucking this makes my teeth hurt. <sighs> yeah, it's 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 physically hurting. <laughs> and if you're using this with another guy, I'm sure a bro job is in their future. <laughs> Those motherfuckers are queer. <laughs> you know, though, yes. some of the audience members today might have come in and gone into cock shock. What is cock shock? Well, that's when you go to a party expecting a breast fest, but walk into a meat hang. A breast fest? Cock right. shock? So you're yeah. talking about any O and A? It's when you pick up a transsexual and she's post op. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve. There's or like, some, they, if you want to prove you're classy or whatever, like you're, you know, you're cut above the rest of the bros. Yeah. You'd show them your cigar arsenal, which is your arsenal of cigars. Oh, is that what that wow. is? <laughs> cigar arsenal. Uh -huh. That's, That's cool. Ugh. And one more, I guess, and then we then we officially give the first copy of the bromance book out to Give? Well, let them fight over it. <laughs> yeah. Who's not going to want this now? So, like, this would be when you're watching TV and your chick is coming over trying to change the remote or talk to you, and you're like, babe, the game's on. Oh, that's when you have to punt. That's <laughs> punch the cunt. <laughs> <laughs> no, your chick might have ESP envy. Ugh. Oh. Oh. 
That's like a chick's jealousy over your love of ESPN. Yeah. Right. Oh, I thought that was especially smelly pussy envy. <laughs> oh, hold on. Sorry. Apparently, fucking the improv troupe out here in the audience could have come up with a better ESP line. My fault. <laughs> Hi, Mars. How are you? <laughs> you are you are just carpet bombing oh, the it's audience. Fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> Dresden out there. <laughs> and I don't like the fact that fucking all right, go ahead. I, I've lost my faith in myself. <laughs> oh no. No, well, no, come on, Jimmy, do it. Let's finish strong here. You know right. what Mars is? What? Really? What? Yes, a fucking Tiberius Caesar haircut having idiot. <laughs> no. Thank God I didn't say that as a joke. <laughs> It wouldn't have gotten a big laugh, but I was really trying to make a point. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Go ahead there, Sam. I've seen this guy work out, and he's a total gym poster. In that he shows up. Is that where he up. pretends to be a guy bombing? <laughs> Jim, you're not bombing. You're doing well. <laughs> gym poster. Uh. Well, he shows up to the gym just to be able to tell people that he goes there. Ah, but he well. doesn't do much besides sit at the juice bar Hitting on the counter, chick, of course. Well, the well, chick, God, yes, right dude. He's such a fucking man. Tank Hankerous would do that. Yeah. All Tank this Hankerous knows this all This is these. a book of puns. That's yeah. all he's done. By, yeah. the, by the way, good job by Sam. Mikey G in Boston Right, Sam's really wise and informative today. A regular bro b Wan Kenobi. That's right, dude. Uh, oh, wow. That's nice. a good one. Is that one in there? Nice. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. <laughs> Does it go from A to Z in that dumb book? Or no, because they're all the different sections. Oh, well, yeah. You, you know. Know, break them up into... But all this shit. knowledge can go to one or, I think, six lucky fans. <laughs> <laughs> today. Well, why don't you, you know, whoever wants this book should raise their hand. How about this, Hope? Whoever comes up with a good one yeah. gets yes. the first copy. Yes! How about that? One of you guys has to have... A bromance. Since I haven't, obviously, uh. maybe one of you can <laughs> come up with a good one. And this is the copy as read on the air. Oh, oh wow, that's famous, a famous now. famous book. Ooh. That book is famous. I heard he signed it, too. You should write as read, <laughs> as read by... <laughs> Primetime Sam Rodgers. What That's page true. did he sign this on? I don't remember. Second page again. It's weird. Usually you just open up the cover and sign it, but these I guys... I think that's, that's a new thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a new thing. What does it say, Jimmy? I can't read. I can't even find it. Well, it's right... One more page. Yeah, right there. Okay, what does no, it no, say, Jimmy? No, you missed Jimmy? it, Jim. Go back a page. Go back a page. Back. One more. One more. And it's right there. There it is. Right? <laughs> what is that noise? It's almost like there's a pen writing on paper. No, no, no. I don't What's know. What's going on there? I can't find it. I don't know. All right. I don't know. Is that see. one signed there, Oh, here Sam? it is. Oh, did you find it? I'm like, how could I not find it? <laughs> what does it say, Sam? <laughs> I'm an unfunny... What is this? Can you read that? I Looks like he wrote shitbag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an unfunny <laughs> shitbag. Daniel. <laughs> oh Too bad the cunning <laughs> linguist wasn't here, or he would, uh, he would win. The show itself. Yeah. Our show. Come on. The Brophy and Manthony show. <laughs> nice. nice. Dude. Dude, right? Come on. Air high five. Up top, man. There you go. Yeah. We're high fiving. With your, uh, with your female loving friend, Shimmy Norton. Shim. Shim. <laughs> 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 Sam? So who wants the brocabulary? Who's got a good brocab word? A brocab. I like that, Sam. Ah. Why is nobody saying anything? Come on, guys. This, you, you can't bomb harder than I have. Yeah. <laughs> I've set the bar very low. Let's go with a brocab. Let's go. You guys are a bunch of queers. That guy with you the glasses is thinking. The guy in the second row. Is he nodding off? He's asleep. That guy is asleep. Look at him. Oh, damn. Oh, oh we nice just woke work. him up. Fucking narcoleptic. My, my word is broner. What? A, a broner? A, a broner. That's when you and your friend is wrestling around and your dick gets hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get him. Accidental, though. That's, that's the point. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, it'd be queer if it was on purpose. <laughs> the fact that the man's fucking leg rubs your dick and it jumps up makes it fine. All right, we'll give him that one. That was good. A broner. Mr. Broner gets the book. Oh. Yay. I, I, I <laughs> oh, this is Jimmy, good. Jimmy's jokes have been made front page of the paper. <laughs> <laughs> As it holds up the... Wait, let me see. Adam That's Bomb picture. Adam Bomb from Hiroshima yeah, pictures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. oh, I was hoping it was the ad in the corner. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, what other old newspapers are we are giving away today after the break? Yeah, we got Anthony picked the 
decide to keep one of them. No, nah, you could take this one. Really? I just wanted to. Th- I just wanted to thumb through right. it. The good old days. <laughs> what do you got? A whole stack of World War II era newspapers. Ah. Uh, one headline says two Nazi armies yield in the south. Yeah, I don't like those papers. Oh, this one you're not total German surrender. Wow, oh, boy, Ooh. don't let Anthony hell happen that there, huh? Soviets fight Czech Nazis. God oh, damn no. the Reds. And no Jap war for two front vets. <laughs> Jimmy just went and got another bromance book. Wow, yeah, I want to keep one for myself. <laughs> I don't blame you. All right, we're going to take a break. Bill Burr playing uh, Trump Marina this Saturday. BillBurr.com for tickets. The first show sold out. Uh, we're going to push and get that second show sold out for Bill Thank Burr. Thank you. He's going to be doing the show all week. Well, just push Joe DeRosa, the new star of the Opie and Anthony oh, show. Well, he'll be in Thursday. Jealous. We were there hoping we he would go. be here today, but uh, we have to wait till Thursday for Joe to come in. <laughs> uh, the bromance author was on the, on the show, and, uh, well, this is what happened to the guy in the end. Check it out. How long was it till your uh, bros told you, all right, enough with the fucking puns? Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering when you're going to tell me that. No. Oh, oh. Yeah. They, uh, they, um. Brian from St. Louis, Melissa Lesridge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It's definitely to be taken in small doses. Keep it by the toilet. Read it, you know, mm-hmm. one entry at a time. Yeah, yeah. run that's out of toilet that's paper. <laughs> that's true. Shitterature. That's uh, the book you put by the ball, right? 217 okay. pieces of... <laughs> <laughs> um, where, where are you actually? Are you a New Yorker? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> what do you say, keep it by the what? And I forgot. What do you by, say, keep it by, by the, the shitter. Oh. Or the, um. for breakfast a sponge (laughs) (laughs) wow Wow. oh god maybe that's gotta be changed wow (laughs) okay so it's vocabulary (laughs) yeah Known as the urinal oh. book. No, still hanging. Cool. Sorry for the uh, interruption. I no problem. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Never seen anybody uh, go that long. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So, what's a slurchus? <laughs> Slurchus is, uh, you know, when you're at the bar, you're making a... Uh... Go away. <laughs> Go away. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we're on. We're actually watching uh, wow. one of our listeners on Tyra. <laughs> Look at she put a hole in the wall. 
This woman uh, on Tyra is obese, morbidly, disgustingly obese. She's, but, but and they she, showed her eating. Yeah, she's not trying to lose weight. She was eating this giant breakfast of bacon and <laughs> and uh, eggs. And she was eating, uh, drinking a whole thing of chocolate milk out of a gallon milk container. <laughs> it's amazing how angry that makes you when you watch it. Like yeah. everybody watches it and just goes, "Fucking die!" They showed her uh, showering. And uh, she was taking the little handheld shower head thing and, and getting it into the folds. She looks like a Hummel. Yeah. <laughs> she is Humpty Dumpty shaped. Yeah, she's awful. She's actually worse than Humpty Dumpty. Yeah. Little fat arms hanging down. They don't even reach her knees. She's a freak. She's a, a freak show. She could be in a slideshow. <laughs> <laughs> There's something funny about her sitting down like none of her body moves just but her arms. Yeah. Little arms sort of move. Yeah. yeah. She looks oh. like a fucking snowman. I want to see her walk around more. <laughs> it would be like, what would happen if Earth could talk? <laughs> That's what it would look like. It would have little Earth arms. <laughs> oh, what a fucking behemoth. She's a fucking wow. disaster. Do you Jesus. think you could give her a liver shot and actually knock her out? Do you think it's No, just... not at all. No, it would be impossible to get through. Jesus. I'd love to trip her down the steps. How great would it be? She's probably 750, 800 pounds. How great would it be to watch her going down like 70 fucking concrete steps? <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yep, she's got on a cute top. The lipstick's making it pop. You yeah. Know? yeah. It's, it's an adorable top. It's a fucking uh, circus tent. Do we know what her deal is, though? <laughs> yeah, she's a fat pig. <laughs> no, but she eats a lot. No, I know that, but she was on the internet and she had a collar around her neck like she's some kind of like sex slave or something else was oh, going yeah. on. Well, no, that, that was how they little... get her through the Midtown Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Fatty. I'm talking about you. <laughs> that, was, that was connected to a tugboat. They just dragged her across the river. <laughs> what a disaster. She's awful. She looks like matter from a neutron star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're showing her eating pizza. More showering. Uh, she eats God, terrible. What a wreck. Unbelievable. Oh. I wouldn't mind if she was eating egg whites and trying to lose a few. Oh, please. Just what a. Just what egg a, whites from what a Tyrannosaurus egg? <laughs> <laughs> that a wreck. Oh <laughs> man, I just want to throw shit at their stomach. Yeah, it's, I, it's fucking, just to hear that slapping sound. Yeah. I want to hear Tyra say, you know, I remember when I would put on like three ounces before a photo shoot. <laughs> Tyra's always got to relate. And believe to the me, story. when the whole country's looking at you, you do feel that big. Yes, and then I was yes. Dead, you get ah. upset? <laughs> I've felt like you have felt. Really. <laughs> Then I ate 9,000 uh, pancakes, and I was like, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> what, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you I think, I've, me I think I've milked that no, as you much have, as you can. Great. No, it's good, man. We lost in some feedback. That's okay. Hey, uh, we got to get to the cat story before we get out of here. Let's not forget Bill Burr at the uh, Trump Marina this Saturday. Two shows. The first one is sold out. Oh, I for I'll be at Bananas Friday. So if really? you live in Poughkeepsie, only Friday. I'm doing two shows Friday, and that's Bananas. it. Bananas. And then uh, I'm on Hannity too. I always hear Jimmy's name when I'm out on the road. Mm. You guys want to be proud of him. Hannity, nice. Oh, I hope there's a buzz. <laughs> there's a buzz out there. That Jimmy <laughs> Norton in his new hour of uh, comedy. A little bit, a little killing bit. killing him. All right, here's the cat story. Uh, you know, we've heard these stories over the years, but they're saying this is one of the best ones ever. Finding a um, lot of cats in boom. some uh, lady's house. In, I think, Jersey, yeah. These are the lucky ones. <laughs> They're among the two dozen cats rescued from the horror of what these pictures show. Pictures taken from inside this million dollar home overtaken by 93 furry felines. It was one of the worst uh, houses I've cats. ever entered into. Rick Yoakum of New Jersey's SPCA says the stench was unbearable and that the inside of the home has been destroyed by neglect from too many cats having a run of the place. Conditions were absolutely horrific. There wasn't uh, one inch of the house that wasn't covered in feces and urine. Uh, there were three foot piles of feces in the hall. Always. Three foot mm. piles. Do you say three foot pile? Figure, do, uh, three it, feet do it with your hand and, and the floor. Three feet piles. That's nice. And that's just one from that lady on fucking Tyra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she didn't make it to the bathroom and just did it in the hallway. I'm piling oh. the fuck. Good enough. <laughs> Jesus. She was pretty pretty uh, clean for a fat fuck. Yeah, she was uh, well, keeping her the... down like that. Yeah. Keeping everything clean. That's fantastic. <laughs> when does it get to the point where you got to go, wow, I think I might have a problem with my cat? It's like, how do you live among that? 
Three feet of shit. In some uh, cases, yeah. I know. After well, a foot and a half, you have to know yeah, it's mud. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to start stinking, I think. Oh, you know what? Thank you. I knew there was what? something else going on with that fat uh, chick on Tyra. And there is a, a sex oh, angle to this. David no. and Rockland, go ahead, David. Steven, Steven, hey, guys. All right, Steven, what's up? Uh, I got some info on that fat bitch. Yeah. She, uh, she, <laughs> she had the goal of getting to 1,000 pounds, and she's got some kind of a porn site. That's why it's that picture of the, with her with the collar on it, and there's a big fucking fat picture of her with her gut hanging down between her legs. I forgot what show I saw it on, but she, she, Wild Kingdom? There's, there's some, <laughs> <laughs> How much does she weigh? How far away was she have to lose a few pounds to get down to a thousand? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I forgot what they said the weight was, but yeah, that was, was her goal. That's why she's eating like that. She wants to get up to a thousand pounds. She's holding hands with her boyfriend, uh, uh, a black bald guy. Is that her yeah. boyfriend? I don't know. Uh, well, they are holding hands a little intimately. Well, it was great. She kissed him and then had to wipe something off his face. Yeah. <laughs> You know something? Nobody's going to jump on this, that. I thought I was going to say I'm half a banana. This is just oh. not helping with the black man stereotype. Uh, Are they engaged? Uh, ugh. Engaged? He likes watching her eat and gain weight. Oh, Jesus. What, a, what a creep. What else does he do for fun? Turn infants over in their crib? <laughs> the, <laughs> I can't wait to see what some of the sisters are going to say about this. Yeah, Can we get the audio? Why, why, why? Oh. He couldn't love her. No. Oh, we go that way? Yeah, you're right. Okay, but um, Philip, uh, yes. uh, tell me you were married. Before. Yes, yes, uh, I was married to a smaller woman, and being with what a small, size was she? Um, Fifty, about a size fourteen. Okay. That's not interesting to me. Uh, it's not enough to play with. Not enough to work with. Uh, so, Donna, uh, I hear that you want to be the fattest woman in the world. Yeah, that that is something that um, I mean, that's a, a lofty goal to aspire to. <laughs> Lofty, but anyway. Got it. No, yeah, we I, got I, it. I, you I, fat I would love fuck. that, but you know, I'm just going to take it in increments. You know, I were <laughs> to go forty to pounds go for at a time. Pounds now. <laughs> so you 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 like to tape her in videos and stuff, right? Yes, uh, for her website, I'm the uh, photographer and the video videographer for her, uh, which is very comfortable. <laughs> and, that uh, big meaty what hand. I try to do is take yeah. pictures that would appeal to fellow FAs, to fellow fat admirers. Yes. So I get the right angles, fat the right admirer. curves, FAs. the right shapes. Uh, you know, all the right you know what you're doing. Okay, yeah. tell me what you love about, about women that are FAs. severely <laughs> obese. I understand it was like skin texture and things uh, like that. Yes. Are the, they softer? Absolutely. The cellulite the skin? Bones. Yeah, absolutely. He loves cellulite. Yeah. And the more, he's like. <laughs> I like this guy. This guy's a creep. Is that more? I love how yeah, she's trying to sell it. Yeah. incredible. The softness, the plushness, yeah. the... The roundness, yeah, you smell, the, the, the unexpected you were telling titty. How they sit. What does that mean? You like how they sit? Oh, uh, the way they sit, they have to sit with their legs open and their belly overflows into their thighs oh, and takes up all that space. Okay, this is totally common. How is Donna's health right now? Her health is actually good. I mean, we take her <laughs> yeah. you know, for a water bottle. <laughs> takes uh, good care of her. It's pretty good, yeah. but I know it's not perfect. Tell me well, what she, what she's borderline right well, now. Well, she's oh, borderline diabetic, 2000. and uh, mm -hmm. you know, she, we just had a baby. Eight 18 months ago, and when she was pregnant, uh, she developed gestational diabetes, which uh, now is just uh, is being controlled. You know. So you don't fear that her getting to a thousand pounds is going to make her very ill? Well, no. The <laughs> oh, stop it! We're over the uh, fucking hairy baby, fucking you know, hairy balance the, mess baby. the goal of a thousand pounds with her health and also with caring for uh, an 18-month-old <laughs> infant. Well, Donna, I know that you say you don't know how much you weigh, yes. and that every time you weigh yourself, you fucking heart's working like an oil derrick. So I have something here to help you because I think it is important for you to oh. know how much you weigh. Yeah, is okay? it Tyra? I, I, I don't want or to you encourage want your you to gain to, to be a thousand pounds. That's not my goal oh, here. So can you turn but the air conditioner on? I do think you should know how much you weigh. I think it's only fair that you have a skill that supports you. And we have one Look here. Look how she's selling like so, she's trying uh, to help the yeah. dad. Yeah. Ready to see what your weight is? How about sure. this? Yeah. praying that she's a thousand pounds. Must be kind of exciting, pounds. right? To exactly. be able to see it for real. And, but right, I'm going to get very depressed if it's like low. If I lost it, it won't be. Get, like, it won't depressed. be. Look at really? So what's, what's about, a bad like, number? Walrus. Like below 600 or? Yeah. Below 600 yeah. would be bad. Okay, well, yeah. let's go on the scale and check How about check she has to out. pay all of her own <laughs> medical bills? <laughs> Look at this disaster. That's funny. If it's 598, she's going to be upset. Is he what do I got to do? Right now? Like, helping you get yeah, there? Yeah, he's going to help me have to help Just me get up because, yeah. You know. Help you get up only like six inches she's off the floor. She's out of breath. She walked yeah. four inches. feet. Okay. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, she's bumming. 
Please cry because you're oh, That's nuts. horrible. Okay, it's bouncing around 513 or so. Oh, uh, you got a long way to go. 513 She's got to double her closure, fucking weight. What a failure. She can't even gain <sighs> weight. Yeah, loser. Yeah. Loser. That is horrible. Eat tell your, me, eat tell your me baby. what you're feeling right now. That's like a, almost 100 pounds less than you can sit down and know you're probably happy right what now. Totally what have depression. I done? <laughs> what have I done? I skipped breakfast. I lost 100 pounds. What have I done? <laughs> Oh. Maybe we should have done it at the end of the show, so I'm not down. <laughs> You're really sad. <laughs> yeah. What's going through your head right now? I'm yeah. fat. I, I just... <laughs> I just... I just uh, sausages, cake. <laughs> just cake sausages. Like These cake just, sausages. Just too low of a weight. Pickle pig's feet. It's going to be bigger. Wow. More cellulite, more roundness, more fat. Do I, do I look bigger? Everybody, do I look bigger? Yeah. I mean, tell me I look bigger. <laughs> so I look bigger than 500? <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Like, oh, uh, as long as I look bigger. Great. Let's roll you down a hill now. I don't believe her. Oh, it's almost like she's an bigger. obese bitch, and she's like, fuck it, I'm just going to embrace the awfulness. Yeah. Up next, what does your husband do when you're having sex? He's like, fed me, like, donuts. He plays with my belly, and he wishes I was like 500 pounds. I'm just scared that um, my husband's going to leave me. She has a pretty face. Anna says that she has struggled with her weight her entire life, and she gets no support from anybody. From anybody. Anybody. <laughs> Your daughter's hurting a little bit. Why do you say the things that you say? I'm doing it for her own good. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, is, can we please listen to that I know, mean mother? I love fatty shows like that. They're fantastic. Hilarious. Yeah. You just want to punch them in the head and some guy emailed me he's like he runs some fat website yeah like, that any, fucking uh, uh guy who just wants publicity and, and i'm not gonna mention the website but it's like I, I got your email and you're like i want to challenge you like the jokes you make about fat people i can make about it's like dude i'm not interested in i no. don't care about what you used to be or what you are it's irrelevant to me i'll continue to make fun of it uh, yeah. i make fun of everything so too bad if you don't like it just fucking live Keep your own life fatty. i want to throw lunch meat at the stomach and i just want to hear that sound that yeah. smack, yeah. smack that salami that hard salami smack sound smack 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 i want to put an infield fucking tarp over her oh. <laughs> 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 fucking amazing she's all disappointed you know what that would take for her to reach a thousand pounds that's almost a, she can't she'll be dead it. before i she can't believe that that's that's twice as much what what is the record for uh thousand something eleven hundred mm. it's gonna be like twelve hundred pounds i'm gonna go twelve hundred too i yeah. think like twelve hundred pounds yeah. or gender based uh well person no 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 because guys think... are way more go with the... i'm curious just to see what the, that well let's see both but. yeah i both. say twelve something yeah i say females are barely over a thousand yeah i bet it's not even a thousand i bet female is like 800 eight mm. and change yeah oh, guys all right uh the second part oh, Dan daniel has it danny oh danny boy oh dan the world's fattest woman was rosalie bradford at 1200 pounds wow oh wait here's an update the world's fattest woman uh is now carol Yager at sixteen hundred pounds. Wow! We got a Holy picture of that shit! I will try and find that. This find fucking that pig wants to mess. pass. Is she three times as much? She's never gonna make it. You couldn't get she dragged was... in by a commercial fishing net when you <laughs> no. get to be that size. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't land you. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, they could, but they'd be afraid that you're endangered and they'd throw you back. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny if they thought they caught a big school of tuna. Some chicken of fucking hey. size nine thousand bikini comes up. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess. Uh, Oof. Is that her? Yeah, let me. She pretty? Yeah. We're doing a little Google image. Oh, my um, God. 400, of, just... 400 of it is skin tags. She's bed, <laughs> she's bedridden. Oh, what is wow. the. Wow. Come on now. Her legs what? are all open and fat. Yeah, they got to be open. All the fat, <clears throat> fat open legs. Who feeds her? What, what, is, the, what is the weight, though? What is the weight Holy where you, you just shit. can't walk anymore? That's 16. Hundred pounds. Huh? That, well, I yeah. guess may, that might have been. I guess maybe before she peaked. Yeah. Holy Monday. shit! Her legs are so wide open. They're goopy legs. She just sits in bed. Yeah, the, she can't go anywhere. She looks like she has two huge beer bellies for legs. Yeah, the. What, what do a, those toes smell like? Ugh. Oh, <laughs> uh, fucking <laughs> hey! Probably not that bad because they're never used for anything. <laughs> ugh, except sweating. Yes, yeah, sweating in bed all day. Oh god, her legs look like like <laughs> mushed meat. Yeah, it's just you what just want to wanna... take to smell her crack. <laughs> oh fuck just that! Just probably drive her to the neighborhood. A forklift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just want to push her into something. Just watch her fall into some sort of liquid, <laughs> just to see what would happen. <laughs> <laughs> some... 
<laughs> a glass water tank, maybe. Uh, oh, that that I just want to see like how how right, that back. how that would fall. Would she be actually at some YouTube point? Video of our next oh, here we go. Guest. Back to Tyra. Four hundred and thirteen five point six pounds. Uh. Yeah, that's pleasant, but the scale when it goes to four forty, don't really have much room to go. My body has much more room to grow. Is this Jessica the new is angle with to us go? Right now. Um, she's a flat she she have been prouder of Horrible. Her size she's a flat so. Look at her. She's got no tits. Video. When you look at it now, what do you what do you see when you look at that? Video? That sounds like bro um, man talk. Bro man. Yeah, I was doing I some know, bro I man just, talk. I look at that now and I feel, you know, that's Fat. not me. Like, I feel like I'm le leading a double life. Like I. You are. <laughs> yeah. Two people. Yeah. 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 Lose weight. What does you that know? mean? So you say double life. So. A life I'm eating enough for two. You yeah, you tell me. The extra pounds. Make the you're jokes. Happy. What are you, Tyra? <laughs> you're celebrating it. Yeah, some fun bring with this. bring What's the, the jokes. Other part of the life? Um, I'm married to a man named Mark, and oh, he's Mark's a feeder. And he's a feeder. <laughs> he would like to see me be at least like 500 pounds or more. I mean, these are things he's, he's told me. What if this is a new way, and the perfect crime, to kill your wife? <laughs> no, you look good. You'll have another cupcake. You know. Would you like to eating. lose weight? <laughs> I mean, I, I would like to. I mean, I, I'm really not that comfortable. I mean, I'm in that video, I was 435. I'm 420 now. I mean, it's just hard. Yeah, you go. Go. She goes, lost 15 pounds. She blew her nose. <laughs> <laughs> Something, Loses that like much when she fear. has a period. Like, are you scared of something? <laughs> she didn't wear a bra I'm today. Just right. That, um, my husband's gonna leave me, oh. and like he's not gonna feel attracted oh, to me anymore. Why? Well, if I don't do it, you know. If you don't what? If I don't like get bigger. So Jesus, you lose lady, even break that up 15 with him. pounds. Yeah. That makes you happy, but nervous at the same time because he, you're getting. She looks like she wouldn't be that bad be if she was skinny. Yeah. Yeah, she got Tell down to a if, svelte um, 320. Are, um, yeah, being intimate be a real dish. And you're having sex. <laughs> what does your husband do when you're having sex? <laughs> um, the best. There's been times where he's like fed me like donuts <laughs> and chocolate and stuff, and yeah, while you eat you're that donut. Sex, yeah, and he plays with my belly and tells me like he signs life insurance policies. He wishes I was like 500 pounds, like that. That's really the only thing that gets them going, and it kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. Oh. It makes you feel uncomfortable. Who is so the complete failure for parents that her right. self-esteem is this fucking um, low? What kind of bra could you have me who's going right. to let you feed like, her a donut during it, it sex? It shouldn't be, like, it should be intimacy, not, like, you should be bigger for... Entimacy. 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 What are you doing right now? Um, it's I didn't dare look at the crowd at that, that one. That was a good one. He Come has on. flirted with other women, and I'm just afraid. Um, he's oof. been with other women? He's flirting, but I have, he's... How does he flirt? Yes. Yeah. Fucking ring dings. Okay. She <laughs> thought it was a woman who was a hippopotamus. Um, Amy Hi, Amy. Hi. How are you? We're at the zoo, and he throws um, so fists to the I other girls. I some concerns for your daughter. <laughs> what are your concerns? Um, for her to get bigger and bigger. I'm a nurse, and I take care of people that... You're fat too. Pounds. Exactly, so mom. You're fucking fat. I mean, oh, Donna may be that's fat. healthy now, but that's not the way it's going to stay. Mm -hmm. God, thank God there was a nurse um, here to I tell us that the health dangers of. Yeah. She's a fat twat too. She's a pig. She's rotting. She smells horrible. Wow. It takes seven or eight of us to turn her to do her wound care. How big is she? Her wound she's care. She's 25. Wow. And um, I know that you have a history of an oh. FA in your life, a fat admirer. My ex husband was like that, and I. I'm sure that that's what gave my daughter the idea. Jessica's always wanted to feel um, accepted somehow. Mm -hmm. Jessica, what did your mom's second husband tell you? Um, he Suck told that me that cock. bigger women are beautiful <laughs> and like it doesn't. I mean, he was pretty positive about it. He didn't like shove it in my face, but he was like, it's okay if you're fat. Like bigger women are beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, so that's actually a positive thing. But for some reason, that sent you down a different spiral, an unhealthy yeah. spiral. They as put cupcakes to, like, on his dick and shove them down my throat. Yeah, right. Okay. What do you want to tell your husband today? I know he's here, and you want to tell him an something. An unhealthy but spiral, cinnabons. He's gonna get bored with me, and he's not gonna be attracted to me anymore and he's gonna I'm afraid he's gonna leave me if because I won't gain weight. 
Do you want to if I lose weight? I just like how like, we have fat weight? in stereo. We have <laughs> oh, I know. Like, I do, fat lady on, on Maury. You know, and then Maury is, 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 it isn't even about fat. And she's giant. Tisha. <laughs> she always knows what he's been jerking off because she goes through his history and there's like Mount Everest website. Tyra's got the show today, huh? Oh, the fatty show. A part two of the Jerks off to a blimp. <laughs> Being sponsored by the world's strongest couch. <laughs> oh, that's her husband. Look at the nerdy ah, guy. Her husband's a, a dork. He's awful. Looks like a British banker. Look at him. Look at this guy. Oh, no, what a he creep. Isn't. No, he isn't. That guy, I'm telling you, he's a sociopath. Oh, my God. He's crazy. He looks like a woman who's a, a guy. Yeah, glasses. yeah. Oh, my God. Part two of the cat story as we uh, go back to Tyra in a second. We tried to speak with owner Wanda Otten but had no luck. Authorities say behind the plastic covered windows, she and her two college aged children have no running water or working toilets. Despite that, Chester Township's health department, which visited today, says there is no reason for them to kick anyone out, right. even if there may be psychological issues. These people are not horrible people. Uh, their life spiraled out of control. Uh, she's obviously a hoarder. And to hoarders, the, the animal is the most important thing, more important than their own health. Otten has been charged with 93 counts of the improper shelter of an animal. Investigators tell me they don't want any jail time because they realize this was simply a good deed that got out of hand. 93 cats. Good deed that how, got out. No, it's how not. Many three died. feet of shit. Crazy people. Piles of shit. Three feet Dude, high. Cats are the, the filthiest animal. I swear to God, you take care that. of them. <laughs> <laughs> go around the house. There we go. All right. Got that one. 87. <laughs> Do you know how many? Kitty, kitty. There you go. 86. 85. <laughs> Do you think there's any fleas in that house? Oh, my God. Oh. Dude, I wouldn't date girls who had cats. Just that <laughs> shit box they had in there, and it always needed to be cleaned. Yeah. It's just gross. Constantly. Little delicious duties. For hoarders, oh. animals are the most important thing. Yeah. SPCA Superintendent Frank Rizzo says. <laughs> Frank Rizzo. More important than their own health. Open your ears, look, jackass. Look, jerky, get rid of those cats. Uh, yeah, let me talk to the super across the way. Maybe he'll take them. I'll wrap your fucking head in with a litter box. <laughs> hey, cat idiot. Yeah, dude, take that with you. Frank Rizzo. I got cats all over my ass neck. <laughs> I tripped on my cat, and I fell down the stairs, and my shoes fell off. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> We're getting ready to wrap up, but there's a great school story. Oh, we didn't get to the, what Connecticut is uh, banning. Uh, save that for tomorrow. This creepy teacher. They're all over the place, but listen to this. These make me laugh so effing hard, man. Listen to what this creep was doing. Elementary school teacher arrested. Uh. Parents a little uneasy about sending their children to school today after a third grade teacher at the Franklin Street Elementary School in Hempstead was arrested. Police say 32-year-old Joshua Thomas was caught with his pants down, literally, in his car near the school where he worked, exposing himself as children walked past. Wow. What the fuck? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Josh. <laughs> past. Wow. That's sad. Thomas was charged with four counts of public lewdness and endangering the welfare of a child. Police say Thomas was not only spotted by area residents exposing himself, he was caught in the act by Hempstead Village Police when they went to investigate complaints. One of the detectives happens to see him uh, basically masturbating while school children are walking on the sidewalk on their way to school. <laughs> Holy shit, this guy just couldn't take it. And then he has to go in the school? Yeah. So why would you sit outside your job and just wave your dick at people? How bad do you want to get caught? Yeah, that must have just been the end. He's he just had like, to get I, caught. I gotta... The cry for help. You yeah. think that? Well, you're relieved. Is. You're relieved. You finally get picked yeah. up. Yeah. Wow. Oh, God. You, you want the nerdy guy from uh, Tyra? Um, just to remind everybody, yeah. Jessica is about 436 pounds. She kind of wants to lose weight. She's lost already, what, about 15 pounds, she said? Wow. That's and great. Um, she's Good scared that her husband, who is she a theater or so FA, far. a fat admirer, <laughs> is going to leave her if she loses weight. That is your fear, correct? Yes. Okay, Mark, come on out. Be wow. funny. She's like 406. Christ, you're wasting away. This guy. What is a, a lunatic. <laughs> Just, you could see it. He's barely a male. Hello, Mark. Right? Hello. Yeah, he's so tell us a about tiny lot of female hormones. Yeah, a little bit. And what attracts you to your wife's He's body. afraid of being left. Well, when I first saw her, I loved her figure. Like, I love an hourglass figure, and 
Hourglass. Well, she's got hourglass. Like, she's got that nice really? ratio oh. between like her waist she's and her like hip. Tupperware. <laughs> and uh, I thought she was pretty, and so we started talking, and I found out uh, found she's out. a really nice girl too. So you would consider yourself to be an FA? We just I learned would, that yeah, word sure. today. FAG. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't like to, you know, use terms, but I mean, technically. Yeah, the term right. is actually uncomfortable coming out of my mouth, to be honest, because, mm. but, um. Yeah. Why? Donna I like you, I'm a CA. So I'm like, okay, I guess it's okay to say it. We're an NA. I kind of feel weird saying it. Um, so, is she, in terms of size and the scale of the women that you've dated in the past, where does Jessica fall? Well, she's definitely on the, uh, the bigger end of the, the range. Uh-huh. Like, she's the, bigger the biggest the girl I've ever been with. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we're going to talk about something intimate, uh -huh. um, that when you guys are being intimate with each other in bed, there are certain things that you like to do, mm -hmm. um, like feeding her in bed while you guys are being intimate. <laughs> well, lots of people do that. I mean, it's not just us. I mean, you know, really? probably the infamous yeah. strawberries and chocolate and stuff. I mean, oh, it's, he thinks he's really doing normal. nine and a half weeks with, <laughs> yeah. with, yeah. with this one and a half, <laughs> nine and a half tons. Somebody's breast or something is a little a dozen different than donuts. what you do. I think, <laughs> yeah. Jessica, I think you need to I think it's time you you brought your husband here to. Uh, Tell him some things. Yeah. And this is a safe place Why don't for you, you to just do sit that. On it? So I yeah. want to tell your husband. Mark, I brought you here today because I mean first of all I, I love you. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. So I brought you because um, I wanna tell you that I'm you fat. want me to get bigger, but I don't feel comfortable with that. That's cool. I'm, I'm, I mean, you don't I'm have afraid to get you're gonna I am afraid you're gonna leave me. I won't. Oh I am. <laughs> Very sincere he sounds. Yeah. <laughs> I won't. No. I won't, no. I won't. I won't. He's going to beat her like the elephant man. <laughs> home. Okay. Tell him what else. Tell him about being fed, how that makes you feel when he feeds you. I just don't feel it's right. You know, like, I don't, I don't okay. think I have to be okay. All right. I bigger won't. than I am I won't to satisfy right. your okay. needs You're right. I love her. a curvier I love woman, you know. I love you. And you don't. Right. Right. Then. But, Mark, let's be honest here. You did tell her that you would prefer her to be 500 pounds Shut or up. more. You, you Shut, Shut up, skinny. I have, but, I mean, it's... Not necessary, you know. This it's is great. Necessary. He's it's a like terrible a guest. Long yeah, long he's, he's just like fine. No non-confrontational. Now she's gonna make a confrontation. Yeah, turning a little red, which is understandable. Little, like it's like yeah. eight cameras on you in the studio. And <laughs> well, and I don't usually talk at. about this part of my life either, so it's got it. I oh understand. really? I totally yeah. understand. That's why you came on the show. Other uh -huh. people do behind your back. Men that are feeders and crowds do behind your wife's back. So fantasy is enough to be the arousement. So. I feel like his fantasy is getting in the way with our real life, though. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing, Mark, that you told our producers is that you have to be honest. If she did lose a lot of weight, you might not be as attracted to her. Well, it's possible. Like, um, if she got, like, skinny and down to, like, a size 12, I might not find her as physically attractive. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, even if she lost 100 pounds, I mean, I'd still find her hot. So what's your number that you're the most comfortable with her being? I don't like to put a number on things. But you said 200 is too well, skinny? Well, like... You just put a number on it. Uh, <laughs> well, like, this guy's a lying well, sack I mean of is, shit. Um, if she got, like, really, really skinny, I don't think I'd like that. But it, uh, as far as, like, an actual number, I'm not like, oh, you have to weigh this much, okay. you know, for me to be attractive to, All right. attracted to you. All right, Mark. I don't know. What so a we'll fucking like creep this guy is. This guy really is. is right now. Joining us is a woman who uh, weighed over 300 pounds. What a fucking creep. He's a ghoul. No, that's okay. No, that's, right. that's, okay. that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. fine. All right. Yes. I don't have any whiskers. He'll just eat in front of her. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have to shave <laughs> that fucking guy. <laughs> uh, he second. knows she's weak. He'll eat in front of her and she'll fucking eat. That's all he'll do. Yeah. yeah. As soon as they get home. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It goes back to oh, his Oh, you're on a diet. Yeah. He can't have any. She's easy. She's so fucking, uh, yeah. you know, her self-esteem is in the shit herself. She's at least nice, though. I mean, the other one should just be executed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's, trying real hard. Let's bring Sam in here for the grand finale. Give away Sam. the rest of the stuff from our office today. We'll do this again uh, throughout the week. Come on, old penguin feet. It's our last yeah. week here before <laughs> moving goes. to this big <laughs> building. <laughs> He's in the office holding an egg between his ankles. <laughs> uh, there you <laughs> Sam, yeah, just start handing that stuff out because we're wrapping up now. Nice feet, All shit right. dick. <laughs> well, we have a, a bunch of you know World War II era daily newses with an XL, XM, and MLB T-shirt. Wow! And that's going to this man in the United States Postal Service hat. Great! Oh, that's yay! Yeah. 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 What else? Maskers as coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> we have the reading is fundamental prize pack. 
with another Stephen <laughs> King Lysi's story. Uh, another vocabulary. There's one sign over here that you keep fucking neglecting. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, yeah just serious. be careful yeah. with it. <laughs> <laughs> what does this signature say for the radio audience there? Uh, <laughs> why, why are you laughing? The author was very serious. He's a funny guy. He was very happy that he was on our show and signed these books for us. The author signed this book. Yeah. Hi, I'm a faggot. Daniel. <laughs> hey, author, what a silly goose. And finally, also a copy of More Than Just a Catch by David Tyree. Ooh. Oh, yes. That's the Anthony by show. Robert Reed. <laughs> <laughs> a whole book on one catch. Wow. On, on one catch. I hope it's more than that. Yeah, yeah but if you listen we're, to we're him, he would tell you it's more than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's about, what it represented? Uh, yeah. Yes, it's about right. your whole sure, life sure. and achieving sure. uh, goals. Leading and, uh, up to that moment. Shut yeah. it. I always okay. knew I'd be able to hold on to the ball. I'm yeah. like, get the ball to me. Yeah. Get in. I Page caught it with my ball. head. And, uh, if you want something in life, you got to hold on to it. Don't yeah, let anybody yeah, take that it. away from you. That's right. Thank you. Learned that from my mom. That went to a guy on the other side of the room this time. Oh, wow. Work in the room, so Sam. No favorites. Really this putting in the effort. That Thank you. Is a, uh, an XM MLB t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's a rare one. A copy of Brocabulary. Ooh. Cool. And a copy of A Bronx Tale Screenplay by Chaz Palminteri. Oh. Jesus Christ. Not, that's, that's a, a biggie. One. Not, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Who likes uh, Bronx Tale? Who doesn't? Look at them fighting over it out yeah. there. You rock better get better shit from our office starting tomorrow. <coughs> I know it's yeah. Monday, so hey, Dave, you, really, the week. Uh, you really can keep it a little profile. Like, why? I don't know. I don't know. All You're right. never going to believe this. Yes, Sam. Jersey All Pro Wrestling superstar Monster Mac is what? here and just received our last prize pack. Who's Monster Mac? What All Pro? Jersey <laughs> All Pro Wrestling. <laughs> and he's a wrestler. <laughs> And he lives in Jersey and wrestles. <laughs> the, whoa, whoa, whoa. the Monster Mac. Yes, the Monster Mac. Oh, what's Mac. up? Also um, a member of the New York yeah, State Wrestling Federation. Uh, very good. Now this prize pack contains a copy of Brocabulary. Okay. Ooh, an official... Brocabulary. An official XM mic flag. Nice. Ah, so you can play uh, oh, XM cool. broadcaster at home. It's a fun game to play with your family, your friends. Yes. And the papers from Ant's old replay machine. Wow. wow. So you can see where the different buttons oh, were. Oh, man. For the wow. different sound effects. That's Jesus, huge. I would like Some to have something show like that. real memorabilia. That is huge. That must go to a faithful listener there. Who's a so faithful listener? Someone that is hardcore. This guy right here getting pointed at. All right. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> no one raised their hand. I know. Someone had to make got it look pointed good. at. I'm going to make it look good for real. How much of this shit is even going to make it beyond the lobby when you <laughs> guys walk out? We're going to be walking over it outside. Oh, the mystery box. Well, we'll get to that uh, in a moment. But oh, this we is We want to get the fuck out moment. of here, Sam. Let's get go. Get to my car in a moment, yeah. you dummy. This is the Office Super Pack, which is a used office phone of Anthony's. Uh-oh. And a yeah. broken set of headphones used by Danny to do Opie and Anthony's show prep. I never used that. And as exciting as this is, it's almost as exciting as this man in the sky blue hoodie. Yes. God damn. What a wonderful, prizes. wonderful, lucky man. Finally, There's only one prize left, guys. One prize left. It's an XM MLB t-shirt, size extra large, and a signed Forgetting Sarah Marshall poster. <laughs> I don't oh, there see we go. anyone. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's huh? someone in the back with the New York Giants hat on. <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. Wow. Now, a thrill a minute. Yeah, but Bef now we get the grand finale. This is what brings it all together, right, Sam? That's it. All right. Show well, them how it's done. Before we say goodbye, is there anybody who doesn't want the prize they were given? Well, just one person, please. <laughs> yeah, they're all holding their hands up. Wow. Who would like to trade in? This man in the striped hoodie is going to trade in his... Uh, Buzzy teddy bear with a chainsaw figurine. Wow, it's crazy. For the mystery box, sir, if you would go ahead and wait, take what, the mystery box. Wait, 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 wait. Are you on. sure you want to do this? Uh, no, but I'm going to do it. Watch anyway. out for the mouse poop on top. You could actually get a I'm disease from that. that uh, and Hunter virus. Yeah, whatever the uh, fuck. Here in New York. There's a lot of mouse poo yeah, on let's the top. Open yeah, let's open up the box. He has such a little face. He's got a big, long head. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. And here comes exactly. the big reaction to what's like in a, the like mystery box. Nick it looks like an <laughs> out of shape superhero. <laughs> Sorry. Why? Um, what is it? Holy Gary Busey.
This is a collection of random books that guests sent us that we didn't take. <laughs> really? Yes. And they're all yours. What's your name, sir? Mike. Wait, what kind of books, though, Sam? You gotta like work... give us an example. Yeah. Well, Sam. So these are the books we did did not want to talk about on our show. One is Holy Headshot, which is a celebration of America's undiscovered talent. A hilarious book of headshots from people that didn't make it in La La Land. Oh my wow. god! Wow. Can I see that? Actually, that, that's sure, probably that's sure. probably like that's probably heartbreaking. This book. <laughs> Bunch of people who had dreams, and this scumbags capitalized. Yeah. On. <laughs> yeah. What other books were you? <laughs> it's a picture of the wall at the comedy store. What other books did we say oh, no to? Hell. It's not. It's not necessarily not the truth. The autobiography of Jamie Presley. Oh, we said no to Jamie Presley's book? To her book, not to her. Not to her, because she probably would have been the one coming in. Yeah. A copy of Mad Magazine parodying the Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that should give you a laugh. That's funny. Hey, right. don't bend the corners on that. That's Yeah, come on. Mm. Mm. This book is called The Poor Are Not Trying <laughs> 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 I just found LeVar Burton's headshot. Oh, oh God. It's a fucking black guy with no shirt and a scarf and an afro. That book is actually interesting. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. We do have our friend Ben Mesrick's book in here rigged. Uh, four copies of it. Yeah, we talked to him, though. Yeah, I know, but he, he, he was had some guest, leftovers. Sure. Had some, some leftovers. Um, Come anything? on, get ah. a good one. Anything else worth <laughs> mentioning? Yes. Yeah. Dating makes you want to die, but you have to do it anyway. Oh. Getting through the absurdity... Of dating with your soul intact. Oh, we should have taken that guess. Yeah, that would have been warm, yeah. <laughs> warm and fuzzy. So I mean, that's just some of the fun. That He's our shaking his head. Yeah, <laughs> reading all these books. So congratulations, <laughs> sir. You get to carry that. Yeah. <laughs> he said one's fine. <laughs> we're, bas we're basically using our listeners to dump our shit in a dumpster yeah. somewhere. <laughs> Help them move out. The garbage, right. Just take out, take out the garbage for us. Fuck the radio show you're watching. All right, we're getting out of here for today. Bill Burr. Trump Marina, Saturday, Saturday night. night. Yep, that's it. Tickets available for the second show. The first one sold out nice. Bill, BillBird.com for ticket info. And you're going to be doing the whole week with us, which is Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. We'll uh, see what uh, Bill's been up to tomorrow. Yeah, we'll get, we'll yeah. get involved. Yeah, yeah, we'll more of my to... asinine conspiracy theories. Yeah, yeah, we, had, we didn't do any conspiracy. Well, that's because that guy just Obama completely deception? shut me down. When it, what the fuck did I describe? A humidor? Yeah, I don't know what yeah. the hell I did. We, we'll do a little Obama deception next, next time. Oh, I don't. You know, I yeah. haven't watched that one oh, yet. Oh boy, you Ooh, homework. Sixteen parts, my friend, on YouTube. It's all the same thing, though. It's all pretty leading, much leading pretty towards much. the new world order, one world bank. Illuminati, yeah, kind of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're all fucked. Yeah. All right. Microchip. Yeah, and I'll course, be on so. Hannity tonight. Oh. Uh, and is Combs there anymore or no? I'm no. doing something for Combs on uh, his Fox uh, on like the strategy room where I read his hate mail or some shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm doing that at eight o'clock. Really? Hannity at nine. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.